Welcome to High Rollers from the North Pole. It's so cold. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to High Rollers D and D. I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Holmes. Coombs. I didn't say Coombs. I said I'm joined this week by my friends, Trot, Kim, Tom, Bree, uh, 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 Sally and Katie. Katie's gone back home to Scotland. Scotland? <laughs> Scotland? Is that when? Okay. Um, Lenou? Yeah. No, she's gone back to see family for the Christmas. Um, but we're here. Uh, we're suffering. We, ha- we have no family. No, we're that's it. We're all orphans, orphans actually. Yeah. yeah. We, did you know we actually all grew up together? Yeah, we yeah, forgot yeah. Because, because we've been using the... summons in our yeah. minds all Laguna? the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's it. I'm Lagoon now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's was, a really uh, obscure uh, reference that very few people will understand. I was mm. born from a tube. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> No. Um, okay. Anyway. Uh, right, enough Test Final Fantasy eight <laughs> references and nonsense music. Sorry about that, didn't they? No time for jokes. Nah, it's plug-in baby. No time for jokes. <laughs> plug-in <laughs> baby. You, baby. Yeah, I was a plug-in baby. <laughs> what, like Hook in the Matrix? Up. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I was uh, well, all like, connected baby. to the internet. Did you get, like, like uh, the out of those pods? Baby. Oh, Tom, yeah. Tom's a death stranding I was baby. BB. Yeah, he was BB. <laughs> he was TT. <laughs> Right, anyway, uh, whilst I've got Tom laughing at TT, uh, thanks everybody for all of your donations and support for our Jingle Jam one shot last week. Uh, I think it was like 16, it was about 20,000 in total, I think, between the two. Mm. It was 16 on Jingle Jam main, and then we did about five on our own one. We raised a lot of money for charity. We raised 16.7k in total, Right. 5k of which was specifically Uh, for kids' games. Okay. I wrote this very clearly. I don't don't read. Um, So that's about 16k in total. Thank you very much for helping us raise money for the Jingle Drawn. Um, If you didn't get your collection of awesome games, can still people still get it? I think it's until January. Yeah, but you've got to get the keys. Now. Activated before the end of you December. Get yeah. He's activated before the end of December. So you can go and get your collection of games. Um, Jingle Jam, it'll be a link in chat and all that kind of good stuff, but go and grab that while you can. Um, and that was it. That was all the things I was going to announce. Hold on, Unless the kids are laughing. Thing. What's so yeah, funny? Yeah, of course. I mean, who right. we put them next to no, each other? It doesn't make any sense without a lot of context. Exactly. <laughs> like all of the Sonic lore. <laughs> You found me, faker. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, nice. All right. Uh, that was the only. Oh, thing I can read those words. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only stuff I had written down this week. If anybody wants to, f- or if I've forgotten anything, or you need to. Happy. Oh, that's Happy birthday to Kim. Happy birthday, dear Kim. Chris Trot? 50. Wow. Nice. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, that's very true. I was like, because it was, it was, thir- no. Thursday. Thursday, but then you did a stream on Friday, Friday. and that already confused me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, was, uh, yeah, anyway. Happy birthday to Kim. It's Kim's birthday. It was Kim's birthday Woo. this week. Mm. Happy birthday, oh. Kim. It's still within the birthday Happy week. Happy birth, belated birthday to Sam. <gasps> yes! Happy birthday to Sam! Ghost just knocked over some minis, by the way. I, I literally watched a mini that was Sam. fly across the mat. Like, literally, oh. Ayla oh. fell a distance. That was Sam. Like, oh, how? How Sam, that you happen? have ascended. That was like, that was, we need better call in the ghoul boys. Ghost baby? Yeah, we need, yeah, baby. Devil baby. Devil baby. Um, but anyway. Shit. Uh, but yeah, birthdays. Uh, happy birthday to everyone. Thank and you. And happy birthday happy to birthday all of you. to you. Yeah, if you've happy got a birthday, birthday this Jesus. week, happy birthday to you and as well. And if not, happy <laughs> birthday. We probably may not. Um, that's it. Anything else? Happy birthday. <laughs> wow. A- anything else? Um, Kim, for her birthday week, loves money. So send us <laughs> donations and we'll wow. read them out at the end. Still valid. Wow. It's still within the birthday week. There you go. Yeah. What a, what a lovely way to <laughs> into the intro. What a beautifully <laughs> chaotic high rollers intro. Um, we're going to play the Dun Duns now. Bye. <laughs>
Hello. Hello and welcome back to High Rollers. <laughs> what the Whoa! Uh, Power play. Time, he has to cut all this last out. Last time, the High Rollers crew, they raided into Shansara's place. I wouldn't know because I wasn't there. Uh, we're joined Why by... Why are you doing this? We're it's joined because by my a... friends, Chris Trot, Kim Richards. Hi. Tom's back. <laughs> He's here. Don't do this. What? I don't know what's happening. It's because he DM'd in our Jingle Jam special, <laughs> and now he's had a taste. That's a taste. He's, seat. he's not giving it up. I think. I think he just decided to do a bit, and then he was like, "I don't have a way of getting I have out to of this." To this. Just gonna push this. I don't want to interrupt me. That doesn't sound like Tom. Uh, would you like me to do a full intro now? I that need you can all that help. To? Like do you want to give yeah, me like yeah, a, a second so that you can cut all that? No, no, no that's fine. Out. That's fine. That's a pure gold. Okay. Nice. All right. So we keep in the things that Tom wants. Yeah. <laughs> nice, okay. It's not the bits where you insult me. <laughs> yeah, nice. The so last time on Erois, <laughs> the heroes of Erois were backed into a corner in their attempt to aid the city of Vortensar. The Aladrian musician and celebrity Shansara, as well as the Ganassi leader of Vortensar, Harmony, announced that due to the PC's actions in the city, they would be accelerating their plans to transport Vortensar back to its home plane of Ganass sooner than expected. The event would take the form of a grand concert and celebration, culminating in the planar transportation devices being activated. With the Valkyrian forces in the city disrupted, thanks to their actions, the party have sent their allies to try and disable the teleportation devices, or at least buy them some time. Whilst they themselves snuck into the concert and have challenged Shansara and Harmony directly. Despite an impassioned speech from Nova Vija, the city is still not entirely swayed, and Shansara refuses to let the party stop her or her performance. The stage is set, and the fate of Vortensar will be decided one way or another. And we are jumping in. It is going to be one of those sessions where we jump straight into a battle of sorts. Uh, that is to say that it's going to be one big combat. There may be other things happening, but it is. we are going to jump in. Because it's been two weeks um, and I can't find my notes I had last time and the encounter didn't save, we are going to re-roll initiative. We also have Tommy back. Hello. Um, and we're swapping over uh, control of Ayla. Did we decide who is going to, uh, if somebody is running Ayla, or do you want me to just do the mm. rolls? We're going to take a turn each, I think. Yeah. Okay. Sure. One word each. Sure. <laughs> All right. In that case, Ayla, uh, smash to well, kill every okay. body. Do you need me to <laughs> roll things like initiative and stuff like that, or does somebody want yeah, to? Yeah, but we don't have access to her shape. That's fine. I can. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you can take yeah. a screenshot of it. <laughs> Send it around. That's nah, fine. We can take it. It'll just be easier if you decide what she wants to do and then I'll, I'll do the rolls. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Oh, no. Because uh, you shoved me in a box. I'm rolling bad we initiative. We fed you. Yeah. yeah. Right, Lucius. Lucius. Box? <laughs> initiative. 14. No, we fed 14. you Brad Oh, thank you. Quill. Uh, that is a 14. <coughs> 14 as well. Sentry. 14? <laughs> a 14 as oh. well. <laughs> Wait, Vija. I rolled yes, a 14, 14, but it was a 17. 17. Nice. 14. 14. 14. Goldie. 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 Um, uh, annoyingly, the first person up is gonna be is gonna be Ayla. Uh, so I need you to decide what she can do. So, so actually, before that, before you guys decide, I'll give you some time to think. I will recap uh, the this current situation, the arena, everything else for podcast listeners, and also for Tom's benefit. Thank you. Because um, a few things have happened. So. You are currently in this grand concert stage at the very heart, the very center of Vortensar, where this grand sort of um, plaza has been converted into this um, large stage, almost like a performance uh, area. Um, beyond the actual stage itself, there is tiered seating, kind of in this large kind of circular dome shape. Sold out. Um, sold out, fully fully booked. Nice. Um, and uh, yeah, you have stormed the front of it. There is a kind of backstage area uh, to the rear uh, that Sentry and a few of the other characters you guys had moved out from. There is like a lighting gantry with uh, perform like um, cameras. You can also see there are various Magitech devices for microphones and lights and things like that and cameras uh, positioned Positioned around, uh, they are represented by these kind of little balls, these kind of spherical devices floating around. Um, there are also lights and cameras, um, and also some sort of uh, sort of control area where various pieces of magic tech are being used to control the environment. Um, the entire stage is surrounded by illusory magic, which kind of converts it to look like certain um, you know fields and areas. It's currently set to an almost uh, um, summery kind of glade, uh, like a part of the um, Feywild. Um, okay. Shansara herself 
uh, this is for Tom's mechanical benefit. Um, she seems to be empowered by the crowd somehow. Um, and uh, when she began her first turn, um, she almost seemed to draw power and become enhanced by the love of the crowd who are like cheering her name and calling out to her and stuff like that. Um, and that seems to be mm. empowering her and um, enhancing her magic and sort of, uh, you know, invigorating her as well um, as she flies around. She's also stood on a sort of uh, disc, a piece of Magitech, like a hovering platform, which is surrounded by illusory magic and, and devices and things like that as well. And she has two drones following around her as well, uh, both equipped with various pieces of gear. Um, uh, it seemed like, because I tried to do the old oscillator move on her, yeah. but it seemed like the platform was helping her kind of resist being oscillated. Yes, and it does give her like some cover and things like that as well, so. Okay. Um, finally, uh, she on her turn, she began a performance. She began singing, um, and she's been singing this song all about summer um, and, uh, you know, these kind of bright powers and things like that and kind of singing this Eladrin song. Um, and so far, there have been no necessarily effects. She has used her sort of flying platform to knock into Lucius and knock him down and do a few things like that. But uh, so far, no attacks have happened. Um, and that's where we are. There is also a giant mech, very similar to the one that uh, yeah. that uh, Fuego uh, is currently using that you stole for Fuego in a previous mission. This is like a Valkyrian um, sort of armored suit, and you can see that there is a pilot inside, a Valkyrian pilot inside. Okay. And there is also an, a Valkyrian phase knight has also joined the battle, appearing from the security area backstage. Also, right. Quill was amazing last session. He did everything right. Nothing wrong. And rolled some and mech 20s. He had, because we used your eye, yeah. which was an incredible thing for Quill to decide to do. Thank you. Well done, Quill. Um, that was all me. We knew that there was two activation switches. One was in the microphone of Shansara. So she's holding one of them. Yep. yep. And then the other, and then one, was the other one was this on the control desk. center. Yeah. Which you and you deactivated it. Yeah. Yes. Great. You've locked your it first so that, turn. Mission complete. That's like the Let's best thing Quill's ever done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. Do you want right. to play Quill? Do you want to yeah. swap? Oh, God. Can we swap? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to just hard veto that right now. <laughs> um, you know, that's if this was a one shot, sure. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, mm, no. But anyway, so, so uh, Ayla is up first. Katie very much expressed that she wanted Ayla to attack the mech boy and just go to town on him. Okay. Um, so, so, how can we. Uh, so, if she wants this? to, it'll be. Uh, She's got like 50 so feet five, of movement. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, we'll get to here. So she can run over and past Nova. And then she's still gonna be five, about, yeah, she's just five five feet out of being able to make melee attacks. I guess hold her action to dash. attack until the thing's in her. Okay, so like, if it steps towards her, she'll take, an, uh, take yeah. a swing at it. Okay, yeah. she'll only get the one attack, but <clears throat> it's better than dashing Nothing. and getting no attacks. Yeah. Through the snow. Okay. On a one horse. Open. All right. And anything else? Slay. I think uh, that's, is she raging? Can she rage? Oh, she can rage, yeah. She, she can yeah. zap, can't she? Only if she attacks, I think. Eh? I think. I don't know. Um, we'll say that, yeah. So I she think has, like, has a better be... rage now, where she doesn't need to stay angry. No, but I think, yeah, I should just say that she is rage raging. Plus. Yeah, rage plus. How much? Um, uh, no, she actually it's a ten feet aura, so I think she can just use her, uh, her storm storm aura. So it's a dex save uh, from dex saving throw from Mech. Zemek. Uh, sure. How dexy can it be? At this time, dex where did Harmony go? Harmony's up in the um, <coughs> audience somewhere. Yeah. Uh, they were they weren't on the stage. Uh, Mech is going to fail uh, the saving throw, so her storm aura does. Da, 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 da. 3d6? Uh, 3d6, yep. Yeah. Uh, plus her con modifier, so I'll roll these. That's hmm. going to be 11. Da, 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 da. 16 points of lightning damage to the mech. Um, sure, I'm just going to do this and then I will worry about things later. Cool. So uh, Ayla runs across the main sort of central platform, swings, uh, well, gets within range and then blasts out with her lightning aura. Um, the damn it, the mech kind of like, kind of stumbles back for a second. You see, uh, you know, it briefly flickers the lightning arcs over its body, but it seems mostly unfazed by that. Um, at the end of Ayla's turn, Shansara's first performance is going to complete. Um, her performance of the Burning Heart of Summer um, as 
Uh, I believe the only characters that are going to be caught by this are going to be uh, the uh, Ayla, Lucius, and the Tiangong um, uh, blah, 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 Echo. Um, all of the, as you guys are the only ones within range currently, um, you guys are going to take a certain amount of uh, damage and then wisdom saving throws. Uh, the Tiangong does not need to make the wisdom saving throw because it doesn't affect them. Um, so this is going to be... Uh, there, yeah, wisdom saving throw. You're taking some damage regardless, um, as you are within the range of the sphere. Um, 13. I'm just gonna check. Just out. Anyways. Uh, so this is gonna be. Doo -doo -doo. How much is that further being this? This is gonna be. Okie dokie. 98, um, did you say? Yes, I did. Yeah, I think Tiangong's gonna deactivate. Can 98 do more than one damage? I can hope. I can hope. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a way of uh, shutting up this crowd. Yeah, Stop them chanting. Showing your butt. I'm gonna get my butt out. <laughs> right, it's, it's gonna be. <clears throat> so, to Ayla. Uh, Lucius and Tiangong cloning that is going to be uh, that's going to be forty six points of fire damage. So uh, I think uh, Tiangong is going to uh, uh, disappear. Yes, forty six. As this, you see, as she finishes this verse of her performance, this radius, about forty foot radius of fire, erupts out from her and just <laughs> engulfs across all of you. But that fire, as it washes over you, feel this kind of. Um, you know, uh, almost like a, an influence over your mind. This is a charm effect, so you would have had advantage because you forgot you're an elf as well, so you would have had advantage on the saving throw. That's worse. Okay, nice. What did you get total on the wisdom saving throw? 13. <coughs> 13. Uh, Ayla is also going to fail. Uh, so as this kind of wash over you, the fire kind of burns and you feel like the scorching heat across your body, but as it does, your mind almost becomes dulled to the pain to an extent and you feel your kind of heart filled with this this fervor towards the music and you are currently now charmed by Shansara which means you are under the charmed condition um, and whilst you are charmed in this way uh, there will be additional effect uh, as the as the fiery charm uh, of the of the singer takes over. And that was the end of Ayla's turn. So you could see that she was singing the whole time during her turn. And then at the end, once a certain amount of time had passed, the song finished and this fiery uh, eruption seems to uh, take over. Um, and then, uh, and that was at the end of Ayla's turn. So now it is Shansara's turn herself. Um, she's going to fly back over more towards the center over here sort of hovering over and you see that her outfit changes now from this kind of fiery reds and oranges of summer um, and it begins to take on the more sort of golden yellows and 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 uh, duller browns of autumn um, as she is going to she wants to start a new song um no, she is in fact going to use her. Yeah, she is going to. You see one of the drones flying beside her as she finishes that performance. She begins um, from the verse of the performance. She switches to a chorus, and the drone beside her, one of the drones, you can see amplifies the sound, and she's actually going to channel it into a co into a line of powerful chorus uh, towards Quill and Sentry. I need you both to make Constitution saving throws. Oh God! Uh, as she kind of like stretches out one hand, she lets out this kind of you know resonating aria as the chorus hits its climax. <laughs> this waves of sonic energy. How right high up am I from Century? Uh, about 15, things. about 20, 15 feet. So oh, you don't get past. No, you do get, yeah, because you're 30 feet from me. So oh, yeah. You get uh, I got an eight total. I eight got total. unnatural 20. Unnatural 20. Unfortunately, unnatural 20 is still not enough. God, um, as you are both going to take uh, 40 points of thunder damage. Ooh. Ooh. Um, oh, boy. And you are knocked back. Uh, 30 feet. Work. Sentry, you have nowhere to go. You feet. slam back into the, the base of this kind of the, the the scaffolding and things that you're kind of connected to. You're going to take another 
bum, 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 uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage as you're kind of poof, thrown back into it. Ouch. Quill, you're actually knocked off the platform and come crashing down. I'm just going to put you down. What, like 30 feet away? Uh, yeah, 30 feet back and down. Uh, so you're also going to take bum, 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 uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. And you're both knocked prone when you land. Dang. Um, but that is as well. Oh, yes. That is the end of Shansara's turn as she finishes her powerful chorus. Um, and uh, then you see that the drone sort of like depowers for a second. Nova Vija. Hello. Hello. Um, I would like to um, wield my new Eclipse Twin Braid. Braid? Twin, twin, twin Braids. Blade. Yep. And uh, I will use bonus action to activate hmm, Crescent of Darkness. Okay. Um, at the start of my next turn. Okay, so that doesn't do anything just yet. Um, and then I would like to use Eldritch Blast to take out the drone that just fired. The, okay. So um, the the uh, the amplifier drone. Yeah. Is, yep. Yes, you can in fact target the drone. Okay. That is twenty. To hit. 24 just hits the amplified oh, drone, wow. but just barely. Uh, six points of damage. Mm -hmm. 28 to hit. Will hit. Eight points of damage. Uh, so, yep, 14 so far total. <coughs> 23 to hit. 23 does not, not hit, hit, misses. No, so, you see yeah. that the drone itself is incredibly well made, and it's, it's rather than avoiding it, the blasts are just hitting it, and whether it's penetrating through its armor or not. Uh, 25 to hit. 25 just hits, yep. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 points of damage. 13 from that last one. I rolled an 8. That's nice. Fun. Um, cool. So these three blasts uh, psh, 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 slam into the amplifying drone, and you can see it is now, uh, it is not bloodied because it's not a machine, but you can see it's at half health or less um, as it has been badly damaged, its armor plating kind of hanging off and broken apart. Um, and you can see parts of its Magitek and crystalline, um, you know, devices inside of it are fizzling and cracking uh, as it is badly damaged. Um, can I back up? Uh, so I've got. 30 foot of movement. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, the platform to? that you're stood on is about 10 feet high off the sort of main central stage. Yeah, so I'm thinking, like, can I get here and get cover behind here? With this platform here? No, that's out of 30, isn't it? It's probably going to be if you want to try and get out of you know, yeah. 30 foot of range for sure. If you could just move me 30, um, 30 foot, like, just away from Shansara, like, di diagonally away. Kind of like, you can go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, yeah. you can go down yeah. to here. Yeah. You step 5 feet in so that you've got a little bit of cover, cover from up above, yeah? Up above from that, that big dude right there. Though. Yes, <laughs> the mech, unfortunately. Big boy. There. I forgot there's a big boy on the map, guys. Uh, there is a big boy big. and a little boy. Big boy. Big boy. Um, nice. So, Crescent of Darkness, it's at the start of my next turn, isn't it? Mm hmm. Cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, you read the abilities, you tell me. I can't. There's a lot of words, there. man. There is a lot of words. Um, but yeah, at the start of my next turn, so I can't do much of it now. Okie dokie. All right. Uh, Lucius. So Lucius is charmed right now. Yes, so, which means you cannot attack Shansara, but you can attack other creatures. Uh, oh, you just okay. can't attack Shansara. Okay. And at the start of your turn, because you're currently charmed, uh, you're going to take, uh, in fact, I'm just going to do the average, and uh, you're going to take seven points of fire damage and seven points of psychic for a total of 14. I'm really bad. Um, and you can repeat the saving throw at the end of your turn. Um, it, it does count as a magical effect. So it can be ended by Spellbreaker and stuff like that. The crowd? Yes. Are there, like, projections and screens of the stage coming from these cameras? Yes. Yep. That's how they're seeing the performances, yes. mostly. Mostly, yes. Yeah. But the cameras you definitely think are, yeah, definitely like feeding this to the audience and like, the and audience. also like you can see, like, <sighs> Shansara is obviously doing damage to you guys with these spells and these effects, but it's not like she's like blasting you with spells. She's just singing and performing, and then these magical effects are kind of coming from that music. So she's like looking at the cameras, she's like posing, she's like talking about how it's gonna be amazing when you when they take the city to Ganas. Like she's not fighting you, she's doing a performance that is causing harm to you and your friends okay. via these magical effects. So like she's looking in the cameras, she's got like singing into the mic and up to the crowd and stuff like that. Um, don't forget as well, you guys can always make, uh, you get on your right turn, you can make one free uh, check to try and figure out mechanics of the battle and stuff like mm -hmm. that. As well. Can I do a check on these cameras to see if Absolutely they can. have an influence on 
the audience is influence powering mm -hmm. Chen's So you can make either, I would say for this, you can either make an Arcana or an Insight check. I'm going to go with Arcana on that one. Sure. Uh, 25. 25. Almost certainly. So with a 25, I will tell you that Shansara, looking at this whole scenario, Lucius, um, Shansara has an ability called Fan Favorite, which means that basically she has a degree of fervor that she's gaining from her audience. Like the crowd is like screaming her name, like she's empowered by their love and their adoration for her. Um, the more fervor she has, she gains bonus damage when she finishes her performances, and she also gains temporary hit points. Um, she gets like a stack of temporary hit points each round. These cameras, if you disable them, destroy them, or you can use them to appeal to the crowd and try and get them on your side. Tried that. Um, but yeah, you, it depends on, you basically need to beat her level of performance to do so. To do that. Um, I'm gonna try and disable the two cameras on the gantry up there. Okay. By twinning chromatic orb and using lightning to try and overpower okay. them. All right, and this is just, all you need to worry about is hitting them basically, because the only chance here is that you miss them. Um, 27. Uh, so you're currently prone, so I'd say 27 is enough to hit this one. This one's gonna get nearly like, it's gonna get a lot of cover from you, so that's gonna be a second attack to hit this one. Um, 25. 25, I'd say just barely hits these two. So you watch as like you <sighs> throw these two twinned chromatic orbs and they, and they break the two cameras, which will lower Shansara's current fervor. And she's gonna, unable uh, to use those cameras to like, you know, she can't appeal to the wider audience and stuff like that from these cameras, so. I think I'll stand up after that and just... She kind of looks in your direction angrily. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to gain some cover by standing behind the gantry. So you're going to stand so I'm up. I'm going to break line of sight with her. And then you move round to the back here. Yeah. I'll put you just peeking out so the audience can see you. Because I'm in a bad way. Sure. Okay, so you are currently, that does mean, just keep in mind that things like if you break line of sight to Shansara, like Quill and your allies will also need to get line of sight to you, because currently you are like fully behind this thing. So. Yeah. All right, end of turn, Lucius. End of turn, Lucius. Okay, do I want to use a legendary action? That's nah. the question. That is the question. I wouldn't. Uh, if I was you. Um, well, you are out of line of sight currently. Um, in that case, I will uh, not. I will not use the legendary action. Yeah, that's a good choice. Yeah. Quill. Well done. Um, well, I'm prone 30 feet away off the map, which means yes. I'm automatically dead if you fall off the map, right? No, That's you're it. Just no, on yeah, the edge you're here. Yeah. You're, just, you're just tucked behind this block here. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're 30 feet off, but yes. Well, I'll get up uh, and I'll fly 25 feet because of half movement. So I'm basically like five I'll put, feet. I'll put you here, but we know you're about yeah. slightly off. Um, and I will use A because I'm too far away to heal. Actually, how is like how's Nova doing health wise? Uh, I'm fine. Sentry? Yeah. Uh, Ayla? <laughs> That's like 1 HP. I'm not great. <laughs> I was going to say, I think Tom took it eh, as like, I'm fine. Oh. It, it, I don't know if that was your intended it's, meaning. It's a bad air. Eh. I'm about less than half. Uh, century less than half is not bad, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Um, is Ayla? Ayla's fine. Ayla's fine. Um, yeah. All right, well... I mean, Ayla took a big hit, but she's still, she's over 100. Like, she's, I'd say she's over 150. Oh, I actually can't technically see Sentry at the moment anyway. Um, no, that's true, actually. Yeah, she's currently tucked behind the thing anyway. But can I see Shansara? Yes, yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay. You're flying up in the air. Everyone can see her. I, <laughs> I want to uh, take a shot at the same uh, drone that... Oh, the one that Nova hit. Nova the, the hit, amplifier yes. drone, sure, um, sure, sure. With a... Uh, guiding Bolt. Okie dokie. But this one is at... Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> you know? Wait, where's Guiding Bolt? Do I not have Guiding Bolt prepared? <gasps> Who are you? Who are you? What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, she would have changed your prepared spells. Whoa. Did you, like, equip everything back, you know, that you wanted to? I mean, yeah, it wouldn't Something have has it. gone horribly wrong. <laughs> I'm going to use a Chromatic Orb then. Okay. Uh, 90 feet. I'm going to cast this at... Oh, you can do that? Yeah, I can. And I'm really yes. good at it as it's well. It's lightning I've as well, right? Time. Locked to lightning. So the one you just saw Lucius use, you're gonna, you'll be like, oh, great idea. Great idea. Because apparently it's my only option. Where's Guiding Bolt? I don't know, man. I can't <laughs> <tell>. Whoa! <laughs> um, <laughs> can tell you. 
It could have been that maybe you switched it out thinking like, oh, I've got Chromatic Orb, I'm going to prepare other spells. Like, I don't know. No, that's definitely not. Um, you know how you would I think I have Chromatic Orb, orb like, maybe constantly Trot locked in. <laughs> Trot? Like, when he was on like, your character, yeah, I think. No, you ruined me. Okay. I'm ruined. All right, Chromatic well, anyway. Um, <laughs> at what up? level? This is at third level, sorry. Uh, and it misses, 20. <laughs> 20 is not enough. It goes sailing past the Amplifier drone. It kind of bobs and weaves to the It's side. okay, because uh, me and uh, Trot swapped characters, so I'm going to use Seeking. Nope. <laughs> That's without guarding vault. Because <laughs> we swap characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anything um, else on your turn? That is all. I mainly just wanted to get back into the fray. Back into the yeah. fray. Um, uh, uh, at the end of your turn, uh, Quillock and Kalar. Great turn, though. Very good all turn. Agree. Yeah. Very, very it's effective. Turn the tide. Yeah. Uh, you are so fucking welcome. By the way, um, we can see Ayla's sheet now. Great. Awesome. Look at it. Nice. That would be amazing if other people can yeah. handle that because I'm. Hey, managing. DW, I'm OI, which stands for on it. Okay, great. That's how the kids say it. Mm -hmm. um, you're probably going to succeed Poggers. on this, but there's no harm in her trying it. Someone's um, returning for camping three. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Shansara is at the end of your turn going to use a legendary action to target you now, Quill. What? Um, oh. And is going to kind of gesture and sing uh, some com parts of a spell component and oh. cast Polymorph. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I got Polymorph. A poly wisdom saving throw. I got Polymorphed into a cute little bunny rabbit wearing a blue jacket. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Ayla kicked me out of it. Uh, wisdom save? Oh, all right. Plus three. <laughs> oh. Here is Tom's well, train of throw. Wisdom save? <laughs> I'm great at those. I have a plus 15, thanks to Sentry. I got 16. 16 is not enough. Uh -oh. uh, as you uh -oh. turn into a little red robin, little bird. Oh, oh this is okay. A Merry tiny Christmas. flying burb. You match the kind of autumnal theme of which the environment has been shaped into and Not matching nice Shansara's outfit. Girl. And there's all these different illusory birds that are being, you know, swarmed around as well. Um, and you, to keep in mind, you do have the mental stats of a bird while Polymorph is active, but not yourself. I had the mental stats of a bird before. Yeah, well, this is like a tiny bird. Oh, <laughs> a dumb bird. You got little, yeah, you've got little, little brain. Um, so that was Legendary Action, Sentry. How long does that last? I mean, until, a, until it doesn't. It's polymorph. Well, when did you, how did you? Uh, Ayla threw a coin at me. A coin? Mm -hmm. yeah, and it still did a lot then. She took a gold coin, a coin and threw it at my head, my little bunny rat face. Oh, I remember when we polymorphed that thing into a squirrel. Yeah, yeah that was exactly the, the it. Roper, yeah. Yeah. Here yeah. he punted it, yeah. And dropped it it only it. affects the HP of the, the animal you turn into, right? What's that? Doesn't carry over the damage. It does, yeah. No, yeah. it does, yeah. So if you do like 20 points of damage to something that has one hit point, you take one hit point, go back to your normal form, and then you take 19 points of damage. What eighth level spells do you have? That's a great question. Sentry. Hello. Um. Ah. Quill is a bird again. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little over. He's a tiny <laughs> burb. What shall I do to help Quill? Do I have any features? Or can I sing um, a song? You can like tweet. You can be like. That's not what Robin. <laughs> I can't make a bird sound. It whistles. There you go. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> you made, you made a turkey. Oh, sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my, my mouth decided to just go. We're not going to whistle. We're going to go. Yeah. Oh. You made an Age of Empires turkey sound. What a noise. Wake me up early enough in the morning to hear the beautiful oh. bird song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Famous soundscape of wintry Britain. <laughs> if I'd done that, that would have been better than the original noise I made. <laughs> Right. Enjoy the last uh, while you can, because you're all gonna die. die. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Right. You. Sentry. Um, is there like, is there a curtain on this stage? Back area here Back has like here. a big round okay, curtain. Okay, but not yeah. like in front. No, of the stage. no, 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 no. Okay. No. Okay. Cool. You can see that there are these two two of these cameras left. There's also the big light, uh, which is kind of providing like some of the illusory kind of stage presence that Shansara has. Um, uh. Okay. Oh, you, thank you, Tom. Yeah, I forgot to put that on. Put the line on. Ah! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, we had this before. Apparently, it's blinding it to is the very people bright. on yeah. that side. See? That, that tiny See, thing. she said, but it's it very bright. Me. It doesn't bother me. Point at your eyes. No! Fucking! It's pretty bright. <laughs> I really don't think it's that See? bad. Maybe it's my glasses. Protecting. All four of us. <laughs> hmm. Um... I'm just, I'm gonna cl I'm gonna get up and climb up onto the gangway that Quill's on. So 15 feet of movement to stand up. Yeah. You're gonna go five, ten. You can get like I'd say just barely to the top. All right. And can I just give Quill a little, bang, little flick? 
just... Yeah, I mean, yeah, because oh, okay. your lance has got 10 foot of reach as well, so yeah, he's like, because he's technically <laughs> fighting. Lance. He's technically fighting. <laughs> oh, yeah, here. I'm not actually on the gantry. No, he's okay. like, fight, he's like, like flying around, around it. here. But with the with the Starbreaker lance, you can reach. Yeah, you can be like bonk. But you little, would have little. to use the lance. Little, you have to do enough yeah. damage. Little gentle bonk on the You head. can't. It has to be Some an attack. It has to be an attack. Stop! I can't, I can't do it. I can't bear it. Make it huge. Giga right, drill him. Yeah. <laughs> to the stars. Uh, Eighteen will hit a Robin. Yes. Cool. Use divine smite. Oh. I'm not going to divine smite. I'm just going to go for just regular. But this is non non enhanced Starbreaker, yeah. right? We don't have Giga. I don't, I don't have Giga. Starbreaker ready. Oh, I didn't prepare it for this. Oh, you didn't. It's in the bag then. So Ayla yeah. currently has it in the habit. Oh shit. Fifteen damage. Okay. So you take one off the Robin, and then Quill takes fourteen points of damage. Sorry. That's how I. I will, need you. I will keep you aloft. You don't technically fall because you didn't fall when you got polymorphed. That's so why I'm you kind of, 10 points. You're flying as a robin, and then when you transfer back, you're still flapping your wings. <laughs> but you're like, ah! <laughs> Get bonked. I was thinking you got the holidays. So move action. And then I'll um, regain a level three spell slot, players. Okay. And that's Matt Harbin. All right. In that case. Here he comes. So, so step up. Ayla's attack will go off. So yeah. she gets to make one attack uh, by whoever wants to do that. Oh, yes. Me. Yeah? Okay. I will. You got this. One. I've got it. Here comes a natural 29. Uh, this is a 23. Uh, 23 will hit. Yep. Uh, nice. And she does 1d10 plus 9 damage. D10. D10. She's raging, so she gets another 4 to that as well. So it'll be Hell yeah. Uh... Plus four. Yeah, so it'll be plus 13 damage. 1d10 plus 13. 14 damage. 14 points of damage, nice. Um, so the hammer kind of cracks in. I think she gets a d6 of lightning damage on that now as well, I think. Uh, another four. Perfect. Um, so the hammer swings in, but the mech still comes up, and it's going to use its uh, destructive fist, um, and it's going to make an attack against Ayla. Makes sense. Uh, that is going to be 34 to hit. Yeah, that might um, hit, yeah. Check. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Ayla is not an object, so she does not take triple damage. Um, but oh, it's going to take... Uh, uh, <laughs> I roll, it does d12 damage, it does several d12s damage. I rolled a 12, yeah. and I rolled another 12. Oh okay. my god. Plus another 10. Oh, oh my god. Jesus. Oh Jesus. 44 points of bludgeoning damage, halved to 22 because Ayla is raging. She raging. So there's 22 mm. points there. It does only get the one attack with its big fist though. It just punches into Ayla. That's it, it gets one attack. And then uh, the phase knight. Just goes away. It is going to you know, phase out. Like, and, uh, hello. Teleports up here uh, to face off against Sentry, but that is going to be their move, their bonus action, so they do still get to make an attack. Sentry, uh, they're going to attack you twice with their blazing sword. All right. 20 to hit. Uh, that will hit, yes. Okay, and then the second one is going to be a miss. I'll just do the first one. Uh, they're using two handed. Um, that is going to be. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, eight points of slashing damage, oh. and then 18 force damage. Oh. Yeah. So, what a nasty boy. Cave carves through you. Um, that is the end of the turn. That's the oh, does she so only use another legendary. Um, she's nah. got some of them. She's nah. got them to spare. She doesn't need to do it though. Um, no, she doesn't. So in fact, she will. She will use a legendary action, but she's going to use it to uh, create more illusions to gain the crowd on her side and no. gain nah. one favor. Create no. illusions. Yeah. So she uses. She's going to use uh, create illusion to make the perform enhance the performance. She's going to use her legendary action to use um, minor illusion. Uh, sorry, major illusion to enhance her performance, gaining her a favor. I hear it. Damn it. Uh, then we go to hashtag no filter. Her. Ayla. Yeah. I think Ayla's going to attack the big guy. All right, go for it. Oh, Thomas. Hello. Uh, Smash. Or huge. Can you use a different dice, please? Yeah, I will. <laughs> 19. <laughs> On the first one. Uh, 19 will not actually hit the mech. AC oh 20. Oh, my God. So what? it hits it, but it just doesn't have enough force to do damage. Watch this. That's, <gasps> <laughs> That's a big move. Oh. That's big. She has brutal she critical. Does. She has she brutal does. critical. Uh, three additional damage die. So she uses a d10 normally, right? Oh, God. So plus the normal one for crit. 
So it's basically going to become 4d10 max to 40. You roll 4d10 4 10. 10 and add that to the 40. 4d10s? Plus, uh, yeah, I washed it. Plus 13. Have I got the exact same dice as you? Yeah, we're cool, aren't we? We are so cool. I'm rolling it now. Okay, 4d10. Yeah. I did it again. Look at that. Uh, 4d10. Yeah, add it to the 40. Because we're going to um, use my crunchy crits, max crits rule. 9, 12, uh, 17. 19. That was a, not a great damage roll. 19, so 59 plus 13 <laughs> yes. for her normal modifiers. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, and an extra d6. Well, I guess. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So uh, 59 plus 13 gives us 69, 72. Mm -hmm. yeah. 72, right? yeah. Then it's going to be uh, 6 maxed. Um, so 68. Plus 6 is 78. Plus another d6. No, sorry, 78 yeah. plus d6. Uh, 82. 82 Ooh. points of damage as whilst the first one doesn't it just like dents a piece of the armor and maybe cracks it when Ayla swings again the muscles screaming and straining it actually breaks through that piece of the armored carapace and strikes vital components on the inside uh, hell yeah a heavy blow to the to the battle neck does it have like damage threshold it does ah. um, well it makes a deck save then in that case for, save for lightning fails it technically has advantage against this, <laughs> but I don't think it can succeed, so it fails. Uh, that's not bad. 3d6, right? 3d6 plus, oh. five, uh, plus 5. So 11, 16. 16 points. damage. So you watch as Ayla's blow nearly, you know, cracks this thing in heart, like, you know, breaks pe various pieces of the armor, nearly reducing it to half HP, but not quite enough. Um, uh, anything else uh, on Ayla's turn? Uh, that is... Action and bonus action. I think that's that's everything. Um, and yeah, I guess it makes sense for her to just stay here, staring this thing straight in his eyes. Straight in his eyes. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> in that case, Shinsara is going to start her turn. At the start of her brand new turn, her father sort of replenishes and regains at the level that it's currently at. So she gains a bonus. You don't necessarily know what those bonuses are just yet, but you can see the crowd is still very much like although the two of the cameras have been disabled, there is still enough love and sort of adoration for her in the crowd that she is fully energized and kind of sensing this and seeing sort of like the injuries that some of you have sustained and she's just gonna sort of um not cut the mic off but speak just to you guys on the stage and just be like just surrender now this is going to happen with or without you you can leave we don't want any more violence and then she's gonna hold up the mic and she's gonna flip the switch on it um, and she's like, it's time! And then she speaks to the crowd. It's like, it's time! We can't let these people delay us any longer. Let's begin! And she flicks the switch. Um, and you hear like the crowd kind of begin to cheer and scream, um, and you feel this almost rumbling in the earth. Uh, Nova Vija, what would you like to do? Oh, just, uh, just to press the switch. Yeah. I mean, she, uh, you knew that she had it on the microphone, I and know. she's going to activate it. I mean, nothing's happened immediately. What would you do, Nova Vija? Mm. Mm. Do it, though. Why? <laughs> I don't know. You knew that that's that's the whole point. This is so we, we out had, of character. For we her. had we had a team that was <laughs> aiming to deactivate the devices, so hopefully they bought us some time. Um, at the start of my turn, with the Crescent of Darkness, mm -hmm. um, I can choose one creature to take do two d six necrotic damage. Okay. She's taking two d six necrotic damage. She's going to take two d six necrotic. That's an eight. Eight points of necrotic damage dealt to Shansara herself. Guaranteed damage. You just watch as this kind of like, like almost like a disc of, of darkness flies out of one of the twin blades as Nova swings it and kind of like strikes, uh, like, and she kind of looks down like, oh, I, I, why, why are you attacking me? Like, she <coughs> seems almost offended. Because you just blew up my city! Oh, she's doing, she's helping the city. What are you talking about? <laughs> she's doing this amazing. She just told, told you she doesn't want to fight. And she's I told her she's going to blow up Vortensar. And she's just done that. So I'm going to give her some damage. Um, does that knock any concentration y things? No. Mm. No, she just shows she didn't choose to start a performance yeah, instead. It was a little so. bit of piss by the damage, though. Um, I would like to use my bonus action to activate my Crescent of Light. So okay. now this crescent, this aura of light comes out around me. Okay. Um, she watches like, yeah, Nova's holding these two curved versions of Tiangong. One of them now kind of encroached in blackness, now the other one encroached in light um, as the two begin to glow. 
Unfortunately, I'm not quite ready to get up to her because that's taking up all my teleport time. So I'm going to revert to Eldritch Blasting, the uh, drone that I was attacking in the first place. And keep in mind, you move to you don't have line of sight to her. I, I'll let it go on the eclipse. Oh, thing, but okay. Remember so that, like you've moved down, so you would have to step out. Yeah. Like you can move out like to five. Here. Yeah. And then you would have line of sight, but she'll have line of sight to you, basically. Okay. Well, I still have some movement left, so... Yeah, you could move back, indeed. Um, so I've got four blasteroos going for that drone. Same drone? Yeah. Okie dokie. 24 to hit... No, 25 to... Wait, no. What's 11 plus 4? 15 doesn't hit. Okay. 11 plus 4, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, 15 doesn't hit. That's a natural one. Okay. To blast the drone nimbly... Do That's another natural one! <laughs> Okay. No. You're cursed. You're fourth cursed. I've fourth got, attack. I've got one more time. I'm just going to switch this dice in. 21. Still doesn't hit. Still doesn't hit. The drone's armor plating uh, negates the blast as it I strikes. would like to think in terms of RP. Yeah, it's Nova being flustered, right? Like, all like yeah. panic. Like, yeah. Pff, 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 yeah. Swinging the blade just panically, like, not listening to the kind of more guided advice, like, emotion running over. Yeah, she's uh, just blind firing. Yeah. Um, can I tuck myself back in? Definitely um, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I don't want to be that close to the bad guy. I mean, he's got big reach, um, so you can he's move, like Garrus. Like you can move here, but like. If I was the other side of the stairs, could she still get me? You would then provoke an opportunity attack. From no, the can, oh no, no, no. So you can either stay here, or you can provoke an opportunity attack and move here. Would she still? Can she see me? No, from no. There? If you not if you hide down here. I'll provoke an opportunity attack. It'll probably be the worst fucking okay. attack of my life. But here we go. Okay. Actually, no, I don't. No, I don't. But then he's gonna hit me because he's right there. But then he's got two attacks. No, he's only, only has he only one, one attack. attack. This is this be his reaction, the mech reaction. Oh, just keep me by the keep me by the twat boy. Okay. I don't like it when you make that face. <laughs> okay. Sure. End of turn. Yeah. Sure. All right. <laughs> Lucius. I'm so disgusted with the amount of nat ones I just rolled. Furious. Yes, Lucius. What are you thinking? Virian, Elowen, Elanasto. Lucius stands up. You can feel up. that there's this deep rumbling beneath the earth. Like the, you can feel like, like power surging beneath your feet. Don't like it. He looks from the side of the gantry where he's hiding. Mm -hmm. And he says, "I wish she had never pressed that button." That's the wish. Okay. Can you... Come on. Come on. So I need you to roll a d100 for me. Oh, hang on. Give me a second. Stress of cast and spell to any effect other than different hang on spell weakens you after enduring that stress. Okay, after enduring that stress. Okay, yeah. Can you roll a d100 for me, please? And 0 to 33 will be the 33% chance. Of succeeding? No, of never being able to 68. use wish again. Okay. You, so keep in mind as well, after using this wish spell, if you uh, cast the spell... Any time now until you until you take a long rest, if you cast a spell, you take 1d10 necrotic damage per level of that spell. That damage cannot be prevented or reduced in any way. Your strength is now currently 3 uh, what? as well. Oh. Yep. This is when you Don't use the wish spell to use an effect that is not replicating another spell. Um, and that's basically really? it. Yep. Jeez. No idea. Um, and that strength reduction is for 2d4 days. So can you roll 2d4 for me as well? What? Whoa! Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I yeah, thought wish four. was just... Just three. So seven, seven days, a week. your strength is three. Um, anytime you cast a spell, remember you take 1d10 per level of the spell in necrotic damage. Um, Yikes, dude. There is a moment where everything... Now, for everybody but Lucius, you have no memory of a Shansara flicking the switch or, or Lucius casting the spell. I'm going to say Lucius is the only one who remembers that this takes place. Everything seems to stop for you, Lucius, and it becomes almost like a colored painting. Your vision almost turns the world into this vibrant, vivid, still-framed portrait. And then you watch as the paint begins to pull back and it begins to merge as the world around you becomes this swirling mass 
of color and light until it reforms back into the moments before Shansara, like basically we're gonna reset the turn. Um, I don't believe anybody else took damage this turn or anything else. So Nova, you didn't do those Eldritch Blasts or anything like that. Um, and uh, I will go back to your previous turn, uh, I think, Lucius. Um, well, I've done that turn, right? Unless I get it back because of the wish. That's what I'm trying to decide. Your wish was, I wish that she had never flipped that switch. Um, yeah, because so would that mean that like Ayla didn't get the crit and I didn't get my crescent of light? That's what I'm trying to decide. Yeah. I'm trying to decide that. Technically, the wish is I wish she never pressed that switch. So what I'm going to do is we see Ayla get the crit, she smashes the mech, and then for the rest of you, this just resumes, but Lucius, the, the, you kind of realize that this is the moment where she was about to flip it. And she'll turn around and she looks around and she'll say the exact same things of like, I, we don't need to fight, you should leave. This is going to happen whether you like it or not. This is what the people here want. You're wrong. Everything's gonna be, she kind of like has that speech of like, and she's looking and you can see that like Sentry Lucius, quite a few of you are quite heavily injured and beaten up. And she's just like, I won't warn you again. I'm no, I have no problems with knocking you, uh, f uh, injuring you and harming you if this is what it means to ensure that mine and Harmony's dream comes true. And then she's gonna look to the crowd, smile brightly once more, and she holds the mic and she thinks about flipping it. And then something causes her to be like, no, I don't need to do that just yet. Um, and she's going to begin, begin another performance. Because otherwise that would have, I could have literally just been like, well, she flips it again because yeah. of the way the wish, but the intent of your wish was to buy some time. <coughs> so Create a universe gonna, in which she hasn't pressed that switch. Not yet. Yes. <laughs> but you can see her looking at it and Lucius, like you recognize that like she might do, she might choose to. Um, the rumbling is no longer there. Woo! Boy, um, howdy. All right. Um, but that does mean that she has begun another performance, and this time it is, you can hear her singing about the um, the lament of tragedy of autumn and saying goodbye to, to people that you love and things like that, and uh, kind of a singing a song all about um, farewells. Um, and so we go to Keelik and Kalar, that will technically be the end of Lucius's turn as you watch all of the, the last six seconds rewind and then a new pathway spin off. I think so that sheer process of time traveling is what causes my strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're just like and like you feel yourself completely drained of energy, but also you're very, your bones, like almost like the, the inside of you aches with something, like it's fragile, like you feel like glass. Um, so shit. I'm not going again? No, 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 we're gonna go move straight on to Keelik. So... Your turn still happened the way exactly it did before, basically. Yeah. I mean, I would have done exactly She exactly. doesn't press the button and you angrily Eldritch Blast her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now you but you try and take out the drone because that was what yeah, you were doing yeah, anyway. Was, okay. you, you know, it was you were trying to take out the drone anyway. But this time I'm angry and missed because I just hate her. Yeah. Um, yeah. From last session, does she have any barrier or anything preventing people from going up to her that I may have missed that I don't know, that I know about? Yeah, okay. Nobody has gotten that close to her. Yeah. Like, yeah. You saw that she did sort of like use the the disc to kind of knock into Lucius and send him flying. She's got this other drone that you haven't seen what it does yet. Um, and then she has this amplifier drone and she's continuing the performance basically at this point. Drone, magical. Other drone, magical. The disc she's flying around on, magical? Yes. Um. The, the disc itself, yeah, it means Magitek. And? Uh, just so you know as well, when the Eclipse, the she, you struck at her with that Eclipse, the necrotic damage, by the way, um, whatever energy has been infusing her from the crowd, the temporary hit was taken on the temporary hit points, because Lucius had worked out that it, that's one of the things it grants for okay. temporary hit points. Okay. Because um, I have an idea, but I think it's an idea that is probably just going to be foiled by something super simple as her just moving away from me. <laughs> um, I want to, with 50 feet of flight, mm -hmm. I want to fly right up to her uh, and use anti-magic field. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, That's interesting. 10 feet around me. Okay. Uh, any... So it says anything that's not uh, created by deity or is an artifact. Uh, okay. except, ma spells and magical effects, except those created by an artifact or a deity, are suppressed inside the sphere. Um, so target effects, areas of magic spells, magic items become mundane. Magical travel doesn't work. Creatures and objects 
a creature or object summoned or created by magic temporarily winks out of existence inside the sphere. Um, and also, dispel magic doesn't work on the sphere as well. Okay. So, basically, so, nullifying. So you're flight. You're five feet next to her, obviously. I think. Um, what would happen is you cast that spell. The sphere appears around you, and you watch as Shansara, the disc, and the drones drop, um, because the disc itself is magic, and it just begins to drop until it's out of the sphere, yeah. where it reactivates. And because that's the thing, I, it's frustrating. I want to basically just hook myself basically onto her and uh, just consistently extrude this anti-magic field around her but within the movement of the game i can't well you because you said you, you flew next to her activated this thing she then drops that's the thing i want to comes out of it basically follow that fall follow the descent but it would then it's a, cause it's a game to thing it like well i mean because the thing is here is you're just trying to fly next to her if you were grappling her specifically then you would stay with her. But if you're just flying next to her, then she'll just, the disc will continually drop until it's on the ground. And then you would be on the ground. Yeah. But you've already used your movement, so you have no more movement to fly down after her. So she flies, so currently I... at, no, because currently you've flown up next to her. Yeah. You've activated this thing. Her and the disc and the drones drop 10 feet or 15 feet until they're out of range. And then the drones, the disc reactivates and they would, they would hover, because the, the disc has a hover property. It just yeah. stays where it is. Well, so she kind of like drops down and then... I mean, my intention is to keep her inside the sphere, right? Like, right, but uh, you've used all your movement to fly next to her. Can you've I, then cast can your action. I grab action. her? <laughs> I mean, that's what you would have... You would have had to have moved up to her instead of casting the spell. It's an action to grapple somebody. Oh, so okay. It's going to be something to do on your next turn, I would imagine. Because that's the thing, like, for, for me... Mechanically, mm -hmm. it's like I'm also saying that technically your wing, you're we're using it as a mechanical. It's not a magical wing. It's a mechanical wing, which is enabling you to fly. Mm. So like you're currently flying, you can't oh. spells. So none of your uh, spells and equipment work. But if I'm also magic. falling, but you're not falling. That's what I'm saying. Is, is I'm saying I'm counting it as a mechanical. It's not magical. The wing itself. Yeah. Like you're using like the leather strips to actually m manually fly. So you are currently flying, but you've used all your movement to fly up to her. You've used your action to cast a spell. She's dropped. So she's currently still out of it, but next turn you might be able to fly down and then use your action to grapple. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it's just a... Because it's the same thing as, I think, a while back when we tried to do the thing of, like, I want to use my action to follow this person. Mm. Like, there's not really a thing for that, I suppose. I mean, there is. Um, it's, yeah, it's just that but the way the initiative works is, yeah. like, on she would move on her turn, you would move on your turn. The difficulty, what you've got to wrap your head around here, Tom, is that, like, you've used your movement to fly up, and because you are flying next to her, like, you've done all you can this turn. Next turn, you can fly down and try and grab her and grapple her, and then you would be stuck to her specifically. Okay. Um, and then you would just move with her as she would fall down, but... Cool. Um, well, at the very least, were any of the things, creatures or objects, created, summoned or created by magic? Not what? summoned or created by okay. The drones are magitech, so they are physical objects that exude yeah. magic. So all of the effects... Hum, in terms of singing, like her voice completely cuts out, like for a while, because it like, doesn't awful for a second. No, no, when you because you're stood next to her, <laughs> she's, she's lip syncing. Still, she's still a very good performer, but it's not being projected to the crowd. So I will reduce her further by one, because um, it kind of temporarily like stops the song. But then as soon as she's out of the anti magic field again, it all activates again the magic tech, okay. and her voice is being projected again. Um, but it's like it cut out for a few seconds. Sure. All right. Well, I've, I've got it. Uh, Ready to go now, anti-magic. So I'm gonna, yeah, next turn I want to basically just completely block out all her magical ability. Okay. So that'll be a next turn thing. All right. You do see that, like, she recognizes what you've done, and like, she sees this like panic as you, you know, that her magic all shuts out, and like all of her, you know, equipment and spells no longer function, and she's like looking at you in this panic now. Um, Sentry. Um. Do you want me to help you grapple? Hell yeah. Yeah? Yeah, cool. I absolutely do. Hmm, okay. Could I potentially like jump off the platform, then messy step the rest of the distance towards Shansara, and then grapple her? So she's about 15 feet down. You could jump off the platform. I mean, Misty Step will get you there anyway. I think you're within 30 feet of okay. her regardless. Um, yeah, I mean, you could teleport onto her platform with her and try and grapple her. Yeah. For sure, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> so you whoop, teleport from here, and sort of appear on her platform next to her like this. Yeah. Whoop. 
All right. Strength check. Uh, yeah, this would be opposed strength checks. Rock and roll. I just hold her up five feet. <laughs> so I can attack. So she's in the anti-magic field, just her head. Yeah. Just, oh. yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to fail against you unless you roll the one. 17. 17, yeah. No, you grab her. Like, so one of your actions... So the way it works is you bonus action, Misty Step. Mm-hmm. Action, one of your attacks is to grab her and grapple her. You now have a grabbed, and you still have technically an, an attack if you wanted to, like, do damage to her. But otherwise, you've just got her grappled, and she's grappled, basically. Mm. Her speed is zero. Um, you have advantage on attack rolls against her, she has disadvantage, etc. If we squeeze in a little attack against her as well, just... Yeah, if you want to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Funsies. Yeah. Hug. 27. Uh, we'll hit. Okay. Just an arm strike? Um, no, you can. You technically you can do this with your lance. It's like bashing her with oh, the, the side of the lance or something. Oh, sick. Um, and you can technically divine smite it as well if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's just a normal attack. Um, nice. All right, let's do that then. Okay. Uh, sick. I'm going to do a level four divine smite. One, mm-hmm. two, three, four, five D8, one D12 plus four. Oh, my God. Let's go. 18, uh, 19, 21, 23, 30, 38, 46, 50. 50. Jeez. <laughs> um, you see that the, the kind of revitalization, the kind of empowering effect of her fur, of the fervor of towards Shanzara, you know, you strike and it almost seems to clash with the divine power that you, the energy from the matrix that you smash into her. There's no physical harm to Shansara herself, but you feel that like shield, that aura of like this further break and, you know, damage definitely kind of passes through. Um, but there is still some of that shield remaining. Um, nice. End of turn? Yeah, that is my turn. Thank you. At the end of, at the end of that turn, fearing that now, Sentry, you have grappled, um, Shansara is going to use her legendary action to use her part of her spell casting, um, and she is going to cast Maze on you. Oh no! What's that? Uh, you are oh, banished no. into a labyrinthine demiplane. You yep. remain there until the duration or until it escapes the maze. That was good. Cool! Uh, yeah, what level of, What level spell would you like to count spell at? I would like to count these. It's I'm hard to get out, sure is it? Yourself. Yeah. Um, sounds nuts. What have I got left is the big question. Sixth level. Sixth level, can you roll a d20 plus your charisma, please? I certainly can. Can I portent that? You can. Uh, All the lights coming together. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, God, it's not, well, it's better than average. I can portent it to a 15 plus your charisma modifier. Oh, plus my charisma. It's plus nine. So no, <laughs> charisma modifier, not saving throw. Oh, just mod. Just mod. Plus three then. So it's only an 18. 18 yeah. I don't know if that's better, but mm. I guess I've used it. <laughs> is that what you'd like to do? I don't get a choice. Are you going to roll higher than a 15? It's higher than average, so probably not. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So here's how it works. You portent it, you get an 18, which is enough to counterspell it, but you cast a sixth level spell. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Didn't even think. Rarely do. <laughs> 36 points of necrotic damage, which I think renders you unconscious, which means the spell does not activate. Oh, no! The casting of the spell knocks Lucius out and it doesn't take effect. Oh, really? So well, Yeah, because it's like oh. you can't cast the spell if you're knocked oh. unconscious by it. So the damage like, doesn't take As he's summoning, the, as during. he's casting the spell, like you take the damage. I mean, I, c- I could say that the spell still goes off, but it knocks it's Lucius unconscious. Price, but like, yeah. yeah, I think that like I could argue that that make just, a... does the damage go before or after the spell, during or after the spell is cast. Well, that's it. It's when you cast the spell. So I guess it's when you cast a spell. Actually, the wording is when you cast the spell. So the spell does go off. So I will say it does counter spell it, but Lucius is knocked unconscious by doing so. Where are um, you? Behind the gantry, hidden. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like a hand, just like. So actually, no, you can't counterspell it then, because you wouldn't have had line of sight. To I looked around to do the wish. Though. All right, so you looked around, so you're not actually in cover. You're actually there. You're just a little peek. Uh, yeah, I think he yeah. did say that. Yeah, he was. It just means that because if you been. had, if you were like still behind the thing, oh, yeah, you wouldn't have been able to counterspell. Yeah. So you, you are, you just have line of sight. Be a nine of maze. 
Not amazed. So, yeah, so like Lucius like reaches up and you kind of like stretch out, but you feel like glass, and as you pull the power and quill, like you maybe like lend some of your magical strength to this spell as part of the port and whatever the port is, or or you call out the right moment to for Lucius to summon it. The spell does seem to cancel as centuries being pulled away, but you feel like you break and shatter, and you just your consciousness fades out and you fade to black immediately. Um, as the count spell goes off, century you're not mazed. That was at the end of your turn. Uh, oh, yeah, that, was a, turn. <laughs> that was a legendary action. Um, the battle mech will continue its fight against Ayla. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, 34 to hit Ayla. Yeah, just a uh, little bit. Uh, that's going to be, I'm going to say, I'm going to just use the average. 36 bludgeoning goes to 18 points of bludgeoning damage. As um, it just like... 18... Punches so into Ayla. 40 taken there, okay. Yep. And then <clears throat> after them... Uh, little phase night. It is the phase night. <laughs> There's a little phase uh, night here, guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who is now no longer near anyone. Who is no longer near yeah, anyone, but uh, can he's go into a phase. Huh? It's not a phase, Mom. Does he just leave? <laughs> phase he's night. going to pull out a uh, Magitek blaster and take shots at Quill. What a loser. Is he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty lean. How magical is loser. the... Because uh, uh, it's Magitek, I'm saying that, like, mm, that's very true, actually. Would the bolts even affect you? And if it is magic, fight. does Quill have resistance from my like, Well, that's the thing, is actually I would say that because of the anti-magic nice. field, the magic effect wouldn't Force penetrate it. So actually, he fires once, the blast disappears at the edge of the anti-magic field. Like um, and uh, yeah, he's going to realize that that's not going to work, so he's going to take two shots at sentry. The remaining two shots at sentry. Uh, that is going to be 22. Yep. And then the next one is going to be natural 20. Oh. Um, so that's going to be... Loser. This grapple. Uh, the first one, well, you don't have to concentrate on a grapple, True. you just maintain it. So it depends if they can knock you unconscious. Oh, they might do. Um, so that's going to be six points of force damage from the normal one. Huh? And eight. Oops, I forgot to keep grappling. <laughs> Whoops. Something. Dropped her. And then 18 from the crit force damage. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> as the two blasts hit oh, you. Boy. Um, and yeah, they are in a position now where they can't really do much else. Um, Sonora has got Why? two legendary actions. She's in magic that. <clears throat> Shansara's going to use, at the end of the phase night's go, she's going to use another legendary action to use another spell casting attempt. Um, she's a poo. And uh, she is going to. God, what's more dangerous? The anti magic field or sentry grappling her. She can see the sentry's quite injured. She's going to go for the, the anti magic field. She's going to attempt to dispel magic. Doesn't work. No, that's true. How could but she, she doesn't know that, so she, does she tries that. it. Yeah, she she's smart. That. She's she unlike does. others, she's smart. She's smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She reads it's Wikipedia? Like, let me have a read of... So speaking of smart, um, is is Sentry innately magical? Mm, like, how comprised of magic? Yeah. No, you're a living creature. Okay. Okay, good. You're a living so I'm just going to drop down on <laughs> you. <laughs> you just die. <laughs> I just killed her! <laughs> yeah, okay, spells and other magical effects. Um, let me have a read of this. Is there anything about, like... She could come stuff? in and hit me mundanely if she wants. Yeah, imagine if you just destroy the entire matrix. Okay. okay, spells like magic, yeah, dispel magic doesn't work against it, specifically says. All right, in that case, she would know that. She knows magic. Um, Goodbye. In that case, she oh, Imagine would... if you just destroyed the matrix with that. And that's, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, the prime is just gone, though. Yeah. Yeah. And all those souls. And all the souls, yeah. yeah. It was my fault. I just walked into it. Yeah. No, I was going to fly onto you. Oh, okay. That was going to be my choice. Oh, okay. Well, not my choice. I'm not, Sadri like, actively, catches. like... <laughs> but... <laughs> Hey, Sentry, come here. Because you've Drops vanished. a magic platform on you. Oh, <laughs> she can use her, uh, she's going to use her face step to teleport, taking her disc with her 30 uh, feet. Loser. Does, Sentry I'm guessing, walk. Sentry. She can choose, yeah. This is, we've used this where you've used it to escape grapples before. That drone's dead. So Sentry, unfortunately, uh-huh. as she teleports away, you are left wily coyote in the air. Whoop, 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 whoop. And you're going to fall. Yep. Uh, she was dropped 15 feet down. So you're going to be about 30 feet off the ground. It's going to be 10 points of bludgeoning damage, and you're not prone. It's just enough. Oh! Really? I'm down. Oh, cool. Well, you need to do some fucking heals, my, my son. And she's going to teleport <laughs> away uh, with her face step. Ayla. 
I think she's gonna keep attacking the thing. <laughs> oh, uh, Ayla. Yeah, um, just this this continual mech battle. She rolls. <laughs> not well. 19 for the first attack. Uh, that does not hit. The second one. God. 19 plus. Not, uh, that will hit. 15. Oh, wait, I'm dying sentinel. I don't die. One. One. I'm a one. I'm cool. Oh, cool. I'm I don't cool, need bro. to heal. Yeah, don't worry. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, don't need to heal. <laughs> that's it. She doesn't crit with a 19, does she? She does not, no. Okay. She's not Nova. Um, Nova with a hex. So she first. rolls d10 plus d6 plus 9 plus something else. Uh, so 18 plus another 3 from raging? Uh, 4 from raging. 3, so. Ha 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 uh, maths, 22. 22 points. And then saving throw. Dex save. Fails. I'm pretty sure it's unless I roll a natural. Yeah, it fails. Oh. Roll uh, holy shit. It takes 6, 12. Um, my brain. 16 <laughs> damage from that. 16 points of damage. Uh, you can see the mech is now sparking and smoking at points. The pilot trying to maintain control of it as it's fighting against Ayla, but is uh, certainly struggling against doing so. Um, I'm keep it pinned down. Yeah, as uh, as Ayla finishes her turn. As Ayla finishes her turn, however, uh, Shansara's performance is going to complete, um, and uh, she's like going to use her autumn performance. Yeah, it's a filler. Uh, three creatures that Shansara can see within line of sight um, take a certain amount of damage. Um, this is magical, I guess. So the anti-magic field, I think, will stop it, which means that the I'm only hiding. creatures... Huh? I'm hiding. You're hiding, yeah. Um, but there are two down people uh, that she can hit with this. That would be really mean. She it would be. She doesn't want to, though. What You're also forcing boy? her hands, so... What about that big mech boy? No. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Sentry, Lucius, and Ayla, I guess. Oh, my God. Uh, are going to take some damage um, and need to make charisma saving throws. Oh yeah, so two fails. Um, this is a charisma saving throw, so yeah, I mean, you're still going to take the damage. It's not two, it's only one fail for you because it's not a melee attack, so you take one. Sentry, this is going to knock you unconscious because you're at one hit point anyway, yeah. and it's there's you take a certain amount of damage anyway. Um, but Has I do need you... against it? Huh? No, the damage is like damage, damage is the damage. I'm at one one HP, so it's still. And the, and the, the damage, yeah. even if you, it's not a half thing. It's like unless you find a way to interrupt her singing, or unless you find a way to damage her and like or like do something, you take the damage. Um, I still need you and you to make charisma saving throws, though, even though you're technically knocked unconscious. Yep. Um, and then Ayla is going to be taking an auto fail there. No, it's charisma based, so no, you don't. Sure. I've got 70. get advantage because I'm an elf. Uh, no, you don't, not on this one. This is a different effect. Well, that's 9, 21. So, Ayla is going to take uh, 36 points of psychic damage. Oh, that can't uh, be half. 21. 17. 17. And then Ayla, I'm assuming, on the charisma. Oh. 4 plus. Uh, not enough. Not enough, yeah. Uh, you are all three temporarily banished until the end of your next Oh turn. my oh, god! Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, okay. You are banished to a, uh, a demi plane, uh, a sort of uh, stadium like kind of Feywild. Oh, no, not stadium. It would be like the Feywild. It would be like a peaceful glade in the Feywild. So oh, it's a nice place to die. Nice. They both just well, lay in there. <laughs> you're back at the end of your turn. He has to make a death save. Yeah, the death in save. Demi plane. Yeah. You both do. Yeah, we, yeah, we but you, both are. Sentry's down. But yours is like, you're going to be back. She's one behind Even though. if you roll a one, yeah. you're still alive and back. Is essentially, yeah. but also keep but in mind, uh, you have that. Um, uh, no, 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 you're in separate demi planes. Oh, separate. You're not together. No, 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 you're in separate oh, demi planes. Oh, we ain't hanging out, bro. So no, sorry. You're bro. all sent sorry. diminished into. Also, keep in mind, Core, you can't cast spells whilst you're in the anti magic field. I know. Okay. Just so you know. But she'll, she'll just say, like, I don't want to do this. Surrender now. Um, as her, This is as her performance finishes. Um, and then I think in a desperation, like, she's going to look around and she now holds the microphone up again and she's going to. She's gonna flip switch again. Cause Can you not? I mean, yeah. Can you let me go no. attack her? Well, I mean, you have been. You missed. Uh, yeah. I, I, she's like, she can see Quill's anti magic. You can, you know, like. She's done a lot! 
not. Yeah, she has Have fell on contemplate the orb. No, no. She is gonna, she's like, enough. This is happening whether you want it to or not. These people want to go home and the crowd cheers and she's gonna flip the switch. And you feel that deep rumbling beneath the earth once again. Shit. No for Vija. Common for her. I mean, yeah, sure. That, that's what you want to do. <laughs> right. Like, sure. Crescent of light, one blade, 2d6 okay. radiant damage. Okay, two Shansara, right? 10 points of radiant damage. Okay, 10 points of radiant damage. I swipe with the second blade, Crescent of Darkness. That is uh, 11 points of necrotic damage. Okay. Bonus action. I'm bringing them together and I'm activating the eclipsed moon. Woo! Cool. Oh, What's this do? So you see Nova spin one blade and this kind of gash of darkness hits her mm -hmm. again and then an arc of light hits her and then she crosses the blades together and kind of almost swipes them up and this aura just expands outwards, mm -hmm. outwards, 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 fills the stage. Mm -hmm. A silvery mist rolls in mm -hmm. and Nova disappears <gasps> cool. and reappears. Great, I'm on my own. Behind Shansara. <laughs> Nothing <gasps> plus she ends up. Yeah! <laughs> Big lead. <laughs> Hell, yes. So there's a 60 foot aura of uh, mm -hmm. silvery. Covers mist. the entire stage, basically, yeah. Okay, so. so we'll just say for the ease of this, it covers most of the stage. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start that does end the other two effects, by the way, now. Okay. Kim, so in the future turns, you don't get the 2d6 of. I, I got them stuck. with the nullifying yeah. field now. Nope. No, because another fighting the field is oh, still still okay. yeah, yeah. That is the seventeen to hit. Seventeen will not hit, I don't believe. No, she does manage it, like her graceful dancer-like movements dodges out the way. Twelve plus what's twelve plus fourteen? Twenty-six. Twenty-six will hit. Okay, so uh, I need one d six. 9, 10, 11 points of slashing damage. Uh, and then three points of uh, necrotic and radiant damage. Okay. Uh, you watch as like, yeah, like still just this lingering shield of fervor is nearly broken uh, around her. That was my second attack, wasn't it? I can't remember. That's yes, it was, because you missed the first one. Uh, that is 21 to hit. Will hit. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven points of uh, slashing damage, and then five points of the combined necrotic and radiant. So sixteen total. So, so you watch as yeah, this kind of shimmering field that's been surrounding Shansara does break now, um, and this blow does actually strike her properly, and will do uh, a small amount of damage to her directly. Mark Humes. Yes. I'm going to action surge. Yes. Very good. So we begin this again. We begin again. Three more attacks. Natural 20. Right. Hell Three. yes. Hell yes. So how much does that do? So it's your normal weapon damage, which uh, is what? So D8? 1d6 plus 8. Uh, so it'd be 6 plus another d6 plus 8. Plus 1d4 radiant plus 1d4 necrotic. So plus another 8 plus 2d4. So. So 6. So you basically maximise any dice, maximise them, and then roll them again. So you've done 14 maximised from the... So now roll, just now roll your damage normally. Roll my damage normally. Yeah, your, your crits aren't big, big crits, but it's still more damage, so... Three, six, ten points of damage. On top of uh, the 16, so... Yeah. 26. Wait, no, sorry. Add an eight to that. Sorry, um, three, eight, 34. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... 18 plus right? the 16 before, so mm -hmm. 34. 34. Yeah. 34 points of damage. Nice. Attack number one. Attack one. Next one. Huge crit. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 16 to hit. 16 is not enough. She dodges out of the way, kind of fending for her life now. Ugh. Um, 14 plus 8. Uh, 22. 22 will hit. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, that is a 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 points of damage. 18 points of damage. You watch as the splows, like you're kind of like scraping her arms or forcing her to dodge, and she does look terrified, you know, sort of panicked by this up close personal combat. Um, 
and she just looks at you, she's like, why? Why are you doing this? I'm trying to help these people. You your, don't understand. Your actions are going to destroy this city. You've doomed us all. What? What? How do you know? You can't know that. This like, it's kind of shouting match kind of thing with you. Like, and then I think she probably just says something along the lines of at the end, like, um, she says something along the lines of like, Harmony and I were doing this to make something matter. We were doing so that we could we could mean something. You're ruining it. And like that's kind of like she kind of says that as the final blows kind of strike. Um, end of your turn, Nova Vija. I think that is. I'm just pondering whether or not to teleport away. Okay. Um. Need that decision before I move on. Mm. No, I'm going to stay up here with her. Stay up yeah. there. So sort of like on the platform, on the disc, yeah. kind of on the very I edge. think Nova would be too engaged and okay. just like, sure. yeah, and then stay there. Lucius Vera and Elowin Elanasto, I require you to roll a death saving throw, please. <gasps> Is it? Oh, it was a one and then you rolled to a seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, from my vision, it looked like it a one. It like a one, and yeah. I was like, my heart this, went, and it went. Uh, all right, Ooh. well, that's a failure, but not two. Not a bad, a bad failure. Kilo like and Kalar. What are you on? He was on one already. One. On he's, two of he three. took damage, so he's on one failed saving throw. Oh, okay. He's on, on two of three now. Yeah. He'll be back. He'll be back. He'll be back. He'll be back. Well, it's your turn, Kilo like and Kalar. He'll be back. He'll be back. Yeah. Be back. I guess none of those attacks would have broken anything concentration-y. Um, she didn't start another performance, so yeah. there is no nothing to break, unfortunately. Cool. Um, and the flight is coming from the disc. She has no active spells on her. <coughs> now, if I stood on the disc with her, would I fall with her? Hmm? Mm, yes. If you stopped flying, if you chose to no longer be flying, um, I'd say that the disc really can only hold two people, and Nova's currently on there with her. Yep. But you could try and grapple her, like I said before. I just want to keep her in the sphere and fall with her as she tumbles out where she would tumble out of the sphere. I'm falling with her? So she's staying in the sphere? Question mark? <laughs> okay. Is that um, what you like to do? Yeah, and that's just my move. So you fly over? That, like... I mean, you would have to, you have to grapple her. If you want to do this, you have to use your action to try and grapple her. Otherwise, you are going because the the disc is currently Nova and her fighting on this disc because Nova's not flying, so there's no room for you to stand on the disc. You would have to basically grapple her um, to try and stay on this. Otherwise, she's shoving you off, kind of thing. Can I not just not fly? What do you mean? Like, like as in you just fall with it, kind of thing? Yeah. Yes, but you yeah you'll take the full damage, but you would be flying, but you will take full damage when you hit the ground. Can I? Start flying again before I nope. hit the ground? If you choose to stop flying, you don't have time to start flying again. That's how we've always done falling. You how, how high are we? You, I think the disc, she would have moved, she teleported, she'd be about 50 feet off the ground. So pretty big damage. 5d6 bludgeoning. 5d6. That could lose the anti-magic. Uh, you got to, well, you've moved over to her. Yeah. Well, she's. I've moved over to her, so she is going to start falling anyway. Mm -hmm. I guess I may as well like attempt to grapple her. Sure. Yeah. I mean, there's no point not to. Um, so strength. Huge. Well, actually, you make a you make an attack roll. You make an unarmed strike to hit her first. Oh, uh, oh God, that's going to miss regardless. I think. Um, I should have done this with Sentry, but I was pretty confident Sentry was going to hit her. But I should have done. Because I don't even know what my unarmed attack is. Well, what'd you roll on the d20? Uh, 18. Uh, if you got an 18, I'd say yes, you grapple her. For, cool. For, don't worry about the attack. I think you're going to have enough of a bonus. Even with your proficiency, you're going to probably still grapple her. So, um, or bad. So. Okay. So you are grappled onto her. You, Nova, and Shansara mm -hmm. all begin to fall. Um, the effect of the eclipse is temporarily halted whilst you are in the anti magic field <laughs> because it's from the magic weapon. Yeah. Oh, they are artifacts. Hmm. And they are, well, they're deity. Yeah, thing. well, no, it's, deity. yeah, it has to be an effect created directly Take by them. But I would say they are artifact weapons, so they are still active, I would say. Thank God. But <laughs> all of you go flying to the ground. Just go. Flying with style. Falling with style. Do her drones take All of you. Do her drones Yeah, the drones them. are going to take damage as well. Uh, sorry, 11. That is going to be. Uh, 20 points of bludgeoning damage, exactly. 
Um, that is going to be concentration checks for any concentration spells. Mm -hmm. DC 10. Uh, DC 10. It's nice. still up. Nice. 15, I rolled on that. Um, cool. So yeah, I've done my action to attack and grapple her. Uh, I can't really use anything else. Can I use features? I guess I can. If it's as long as it's not magical. Um, I want to... Oh, I'd be doing my divine intervention thing, which I guess is magical. Um, I, I want to, yeah, keep her pinned, basically, uh, uh, mm -hmm. inside the sphere so she can't use any magic, can't sing, can't... The drones can't do anything. The, the... Did the drones take any damage? Yes, the drones did take damage. The amp drone is nearly destroyed, but it's barely holding on. Mm. It's got, like, very little hit points left. Um, yeah, so all magic within 10 feet. Right. No longer working, and that will be uh, my turn. Um, oh, I mean, I said it, it was at the end of the turn, Lucius. Technically, you reappeared back in the space because it was at the end of your turn, you're banished to. Um, Sentry. Death save. Death saving throw, please, and then you'll return. Fuck and roll. That's a one. Oh my, my god. <gasps> Two death saving throws. Marked yep. off, please. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on? Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> I <laughs> Why are you like this? I'll piss off. <laughs> the battle mech is still up and Ayla is not there to stop it uh, because Ayla was banished. Uh, the battle mech will come up and seeing that Quill is currently holding on to oh the it reaches down, the arm <laughs> shuts down. Yeah. Um, and it just sort of like looks down and the pilot is confused for a second um, and will pull the rest of the body back but is unable to do anything against this crew. Um, Great. Yeah, yeah, back up, back up. Has literally no other targets. Uh, currently. Um, you got enough going on. Yeah, the mech can't do anything with this field. It can't do anything to you guys in the field, but it does see don't, people lying don't, around. Don't, don't, don't think this thought. I have to. Don't. To play the back. No, you don't. He's yeah. dumb. He's a grunt. He's a grunt. He's a dumb that's, grunt. That's all the more reason why I am like, he's considering what to do. Shansara specifically said that they didn't want to kill them. So he will move. And heal. Away. Move him away. <laughs> Uh -huh. He will position himself over Sentry's body and grapple Sentry's body, holding like it like a hostage, but like grappling Sentry's body like this. The Phase Knight. He can't see anything. His body's blocking the way. The Phase Knight is going to attempt looking at the control system. Is going to like see like because the he saw that Quill was messing with it and he's going to attempt to investigate that. And he spends his turn doing nothing basically. Good. And that, <clears throat> as we bring it, Ayla returns back from the demi plane. That's her whole turn is being in the demi-plane and then she returns at the end of her turn. And at the start of the next turn would be Shansara's. You see, even though Shansara's in the distance, she's like strangling against Quill, I'll get to her turn in a minute, but you feel that rumbling deep in the earth from where she hit the microphone switch build and build. Over the last few seconds, it's been building. And you see Nova in the distance, like looking out beyond the illusions, beyond the stadium. And you can see the crowd now is like, there's this mixture of horror at this fight, this horrible fight, which is now taking place. Not long gone is this kind of beautiful concert. It's turned into this scrappy fight where people have like vanishing. You can see, you can see blood and everything on the floor. But beyond that, you look up and you see, um, is it Serta, the fire statue? You see it energy begins to flow through it as you see elemental kind of uh, mixture of these different elemental powers kind of emerge and its hands begin to glow and you watch as a sort of a, str a string of energy begins to kind of emerge out from it trying to link up um, but there is no signal from the other statues currently um, and as the crowd begins to see this they all begin to cheer, like seeing that this thing is taking place and activating. Um, and Shara just be like, Dad, get off me, it's already, you can't stop it. I've already activated the system. Um, and that is where we're gonna take our break. What? No. <laughs> After, it's break time, oh. break time. Uh, so I hate be, everything about this. Real quick, Sentry, you're on two uh, fails, right? So yeah. is Lucius. Lucius, you're on two fails, right? Yeah, boy. Yeah. Whee! And uh, just so you know, <laughs> Tom, Lucius goes before you. You can do nothing. You can do nothing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great He's time. loving it. Watch also, I know, like, you're all going to be like, Mark, why, Mark, why have you done this? Like, I, I am not the sole responsibility for what has happened here today. <laughs> Let that be clear. Like, this is a joint effort. This is a team effort. Blame Any stuff. stress you feel Blame is the stuff. result of everyone. Blame as these dice. Blame yeah. this fucking dice. Uh, dice. So, we're going to take a quick break. <laughs> 
Enjoy. We'll see you back in five minutes. <laughs> All right. It'll be fine, guys. Don't worry. We got this. Totally we got it. Oh, boy. Welcome back to a very spicy little episode of our rollies. Mm, spicy uh, little number. We're going to jump back into it because I think there's a lot to do. I don't want to waste any more Tense. time. So we're going to jump straight back into part two. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to part two of Arois. Things are looking dire here in Vortensar. During Shansara's concert, where her and Harmony were announced that they would activate the planar devices, the party have rushed desperate to try and shut things down. However, in doing so, uh, Shansara has activated the planar devices, um, having been threatened on multiple levels, even despite a powerful wish being used by Lucius to undo the first time she used it, uh, the actions that followed, um, the sudden rush of anti-magic from Quill, um, the threat of Sentry being in melee, grappling her, preventing her from being able to do anything, has caused Shansara to once again activate the switch and the device in a panic. Um, and now, having temporarily banished Lucius, Sentry, and Ayla, uh, things are not looking good as Sentry, as both Sentry and Lucius face on two death saving throws, failed death saving throws. We now begin a brand new turn. Straight back into it. <clears throat> um, um, Mark? Yes. I just realized something. What did you realize? You know the Eclipse Twin Blades? Yes. And the Eclipse Moon? Yeah. On a crit hit, yep. you can choose one creature within the aura to regain two D8 hit points. Ah. But at the time that I did it... I think they were in the demi -plane. They were in the demi -plane, weren't they? Yes, I believe so. They were indeed. I'll I think that's it. easiest for us to rule it. <laughs> can I retroactively heal Sure, Quill? yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, I don't care about that. Um, Although, would healing go through them anti-magic? Yes, people? because they are artifact weapons. Oh. I would say that yes, they do. Um, points of thank healing. you. God, it's good to be healed. I've got 69 HP. Nice. Uh, you do. Today uh, is episode 169. Uh, oh. Nice. Oh, nice, nice. nice. Double Very nice. nice. <laughs> That's the weed number, right? Yeah. Yeah. That 69 is. 69 blaze it. Blaze it. Blaze. Okay, well, that was my attempt. I tried. <laughs> Try, I tried. You did your best. Yeah. Just listen to the. Shansara? Call. The only thing that she can really do at this point is try and cry off this bird man no. who is on top of her. I'm scrappy. You're scrappy. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be an opposed grapple check. She is going to use her acrobatics, I think. She's more dexterous than she is strong. Well, I'm going to use my escape. history. Nope. Uh, you choose athletics or acrobatics. In fact, <laughs> actually, as the grappler, you can only use athletics, I believe. I can choose. Oh, so. God. Plus one, baby. Plus four for me. Yeah? Total? What'd she get? 19. Four. Okay, she's gonna throw you or kind of squirm out, use her agility to maybe press her knee, push you off of her, and then she is gonna try and run. Uh, you will get an attacker opportunity, Nova and Quill. Yeah, I'm gonna attack her. Uh, she's just gonna go run in five, ten, So she's leaving her disc. 30, she is, and then she's gonna face that. The screen! <laughs> everything is crumbling! I saw everything! <laughs> the end She's going to face four. it with a bonus section all the way to the other side of the performance stage. Um, attack roll? Um, I got a 26. You were hit. Um, does, does this include my radiant and necrotic damage? Um, yes, not, so, yeah. yep, I would say that like those weapons function as normal. 12, 13. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 points of damage. 18 points of damage. She takes the strike, but she does manage to get away and then teleports to the far end. Um, and then uh, she is going to order, uh, she's going to turn around and order the mech. She's like, pilot, if they move from their spot, finish their friend. You have been warned. Do not take another step. And she points towards the two of you. Like, do any of the mics pick that up? No. Son of a... You can choose when it goes out to the audience or not. Yeah, but the people at the front row... I mean, yeah, maybe, like, but, like, she's, she's like... <laughs> Jesus. Do not take another step towards me, and she's, like, looking mainly towards Quill, but towards both of you. If they take another step, do what you have to, she says to the pilot, and the pilot's holding sentry, like, in a grip. But he's, like, really thinking super hard, and he's like, I think I left the oven on, so his thought <laughs> is, like, maybe. I have to go home. Maybe. <laughs> um, DM out you. You just want to DM. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was going to be that's her bonus action. That was her movement. Uh, and then she will. Ah, the anti-magic field's really messing with certain plans. Good. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, can I say except? You're welcome. Uh, yeah, she's gonna ready an action. She like holds her hands out, ready to use magic in some form. How injured but, does she look? I'm um, not that injured. She's not bloody or anything yet because she was protected by that shield from the audience's fervor to begin with. Oh. Never be Potions. Yes. To give to someone else. Bonus action. Okay. So is it? 60 foot aura that I can teleport around in. Because mm -hmm. I'm guessing this eclipsed mo uh, Moonblade still as well. works, yeah. Yeah. Yep, the artifact weapon. I will uh, disappear and reappear next to Lucius. That is not towards her. So, yep. Boop. And I'm going to pour a potion of heal greater healing into his mouth. Okay, greater is uh, 44, I believe, right? 44 plus 4. Cool. 16 hit points, Lucius. 16 hit points. That's a good heal. 0 to 16. This boy will probably not act on his turn, will he? Un until it's his turn. I'm thinking of doing something very stupid. Okay. I'm thinking of teleporting over to him and cutting his fucking arm off so Sentry falls out of it. The mech's arm? The mech, yeah. Okay. How damaged does he look? Mm, damage, but cutting an arm off is not like a, a specific thing. Like I would, you would have to do a, a a lot of damage in one hit. Just break grapple, right? You could try and break the grapple, but that's separate. Like that's not an attack um, roll. That yeah, would require like, no strength. to be strong. Like, and, <laughs> yeah, I got like what minus two strength. Yeah. You could roll a twenty and get an eighteen. Yeah. Won't be enough. Yeah, won't be enough. <laughs> Oh, Sentry, I want to get you out of this guy's hands. Has Ayla gone? No, because she bounced back in, didn't she? Because she goes just before Shansara. She's only just returned. So it's She me, looks angry. And then, yeah, I can imagine she does. Oh, I want to attack the mech so bad. I want to attack Shansara so bad. I want to attack her real fucking bad. I don't know what her held action is. Yeah. But also the statues. She, it's, a, it's, she, it's holding casting of a spell. So she said, if they move towards me, kill the friend, right? She said, do what you have to do. Maybe we'll go on like a, like a nice picnic or something. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. We'll just take me and we'll go somewhere and sit in a have field. To, have to take a picnic right now. Yeah. I think Nova will attack the mech. Okay. So you can teleport over there and take a swing at the mech? Is that what we're going to do? Sounds like that's what you're doing. Uh, I don't know! The fucking city is on fire! It's not on fire. Shansara is over there! See, it's not on fire. The statue appears to be functioning like the magic for the teleportation seems to be working. Also, if it teleports, it won't be on fire. Yeah, if it teleports into a freaking wall. Um, it's inside itself. Mm. I don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know what to do. I've got Lucius back up. That sounds to me like Nova's freaking out, and in the six seconds you have on your turn, yeah, you, you achieve I, nothing. I genuinely think, in terms of role Nova play, just would be she's watching the she's watching the statue of Serta, and, and it's working. Like, yeah. it, well, it, it, what I'm saying is, like, it doesn't look like it's breaking. It looks like yeah. the device is activating properly. Yeah, that statue. I think I think she's fervently watching. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you know what? Actually, no. I would stay next to Lucius. Okay. Um, like in front of him, mm -hmm. um, and I would be watching the other statues to see what's happening. Okay. And I think just in honestly, in terms of RP, she's too much into that to think what to do next. All right, sure. In that case, Lucius, you are conscious, prone, but alive. Prone boner. What? I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> He's gonna lighten up the mood. This it's is a dire, it's a dire circumstance. That literally just fell out of my mouth. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. Pro and bone. We all know what that is. Right, yeah. Pro, Pro bone. Works for free. 
<laughs> anyway. So am I very, like, bleary-eyed recently? <laughs> you are, like, strength ocean. of three. Yes. You have 16 hit points, and if you cast any spells, you take damage. I think as a point of survival, mm -hmm. Lucius is going to use Prismatic Mastery. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as an action, I spend six sorcery points, mm -hmm. and my eyes change into brilliant prisms of shifting colors. And when I'm transformed in this way, I gain true sight for 120 feet. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if that reveals anything for me um, about Shansara, any, any devices or anything going on here? No, not really, no. <laughs> Everything is, like, it removes all the illusory kind of concert stage. Now you just see this plain stage beneath all the illusion, but, like, her form doesn't change. Okay. There's no, you know, you can maybe see that beneath the stage, beneath the center of the stage itself, you can almost see a, a source of energy far below the concert stage, but the true sight is just picking up the edges of it where there is below here, there seems to be some nexus of energy. Um, also, I'm actually three halflings in a coat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what else? The most important thing is I gain resistance to fire, acid, lightning, poison, cold, thunder, force, radiant, and necrotic damage. Okay. Sounds pretty good. So you have resistance to pretty much all forms of element yeah. of typed damage. Okay. Um, that's my action. Okay. You're currently prone. So what's your prone bono action? <clears throat> I was out when she said anything, right? <laughs> you were pretty much out, yeah. Yeah, you've been completely not was conscious. Was I banished when she pressed the switch on yes. the microphone? So I didn't know she's done it. I believe so. But there's rumbling. There's, and you see this swirling of energy, you can feel the rumble. You can see the statue of Surtur is like the energy's yeah, beginning to form right a circle, like a ring around the city. Lucius is looking confused and scared as to why this is happening. And, like, Nova is kind of stood over you, just kind of mumbling to herself, like, no, 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 what have I missed? What have I missed? What's happened? Why she activated it. The statues, they're going up. How? Um, okay. I'm just going to bonus action. Cry. Cry. Yeah, sure. If That's I get any like, like Nova, you could just be like, fuck, I don't know what to do, like, and just not take a turn. I mean, you've already used your action, so you really only have a bonus action and move left anyway, so... Yeah. Quill, you're up, then unfortunately it'll be Sentry. How confident are you, Quill? Me? Like, Tom or Quill? Both? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> we gotta do something. Um, <clears throat> Shit. I don't know how to... Yep. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Quill. Uh, Sorry. If, unless there's something, unless you've got like a bonus action that you're going to do something dramatic, if it's just like choosing whether you're going to stand up or whatever, but without your action, I don't know if there's too much you can do. There's nothing I can really do. I, I can quicken the spell to make Oh, that's true. You action. could, yeah, that's true, actually. You can well, I'm going to take necrotic damage, but it's halved. Probably. It would be halved, yeah. D10 per spell level. As soon as you tuck yourself behind the thing so no one can hit you. Yeah. I'm just going to bonus action. Drink a potion. Regular? Yeah, just a regular ass potion. Ooh, eight hit points. Wowie, thank you. Wowie. Wowie, all right, that was your bonus action, so even if you do movement, it's not gonna change too much. Quill. Yeah, um... I'll assume you wanna stand up, Lucius, though. Yeah. Anti-magic is no longer doing anything for me. Um, end it? So I'm gonna end it. Okay. So I, I I don't know what happens with this platform or the. Two um, it basically the the drones will resume. They kind of hover in place. Um, the drones will actually basically automatically begin moving towards Shansara. Simps. They're, <laughs> they're automated, so they drift over towards her. But the the platform itself just stays there and just hovers like a few feet off the ground. When you end the anti magic field. Okay. Um. I'm going to do a mass cure wounds. Um, so anything within 60 feet, which is everyone. Everyone. <clears throat> um, is going to get, I'm going to cast this at seventh level. Jeez. It's going to be three, four, five, D8 plus six. Counter spell. Okay. <laughs> uh, what do you think my held action was now, Jake? <laughs> oh, Lucius shit. Is, uh, <laughs> Lucius is dead again. <laughs> so uh, five, D8. Let me just roll this on here. Eh, eh. Whoa, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, everyone gets healed for 29. Wowie. 
nice. Thank you. Cheers, in. Uh, including Sentry. I return. She good. Thirty. Um, right. No, twenty-nine. Wait, what? Twenty. I was, I was zero. Yeah. Oh, you were zero. Yeah, she was dead. She was about I to die. Death she had two failed death saves. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to pick what dice to use. <laughs> You <laughs> fifteen d twenties here, ready to like, pick one to one roll. Why I didn't attack? Right. It's holding her like a baby bird well, in his hand. I'm gonna harness, harness divine power and get back a level three. Okay. And that's my entire Enter. turn. I'm not gonna move towards her. Sentry, you are uh, conscious. Nice. You are prone, but like you basically are being like held down by this giant fist. Feel like the pressure kind of pressing, pressing can against I, you. Can I enlarge and try and just get this? fist off me. Mm -hmm. Yep, so activating the enlarge, yep. and then you would make a Strength. athletics with the advantage and extra d4 from being enlarged. Um, and I will make a contested check for the mech. Cool, 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 cool. Is it just strength? It might just be strength to get advantage on. Yes, which is, this is what it is. Oh, cool, it's cool, athletics, cool. so it's you get advantage and you add an extra d4. It's an athletics check. Fuck it's me. a good thing you didn't roll a death save. Holy shit. Nine <laughs> plus 19. 19. With the badly damaged mech, that's still enough to actually, like, oh. and you push it and you are break free of the grapple. Hell you are yeah. no longer being grappled. Who wants to break free? Nice, nice. Just stand up. I'd like to stand up, okay. please. Thank you. Cool. I'll cool. move you slightly. Um, is that my t Do I get a bonus action? Uh, so it would be an action to break free of the grapple. Okay. So you get, um, and you've used half your movement to stand up. Cool. Okay. I will, yeah, I'll try and break free. You've already broken I've free. I've already broken free. So you've got okay. bonus action and half your movement speed left. Okay, I will regain a level two spell slot as a bonus action. That's all my divine powers gone. Um, I will, if I move, do I provoke an opportunity attack? You would, yes. Okay. Uh, oh, but I regained a level two so I can teleport away! So I will, but yeah, I'll misty step away. Misty step, where would you like to go? Um, where, can I get close to where Lucius and Nova are? 10, 15, 20, 20. But yeah, you can go back to about here. Yeah, that'd be good. Thank you. Just out of the way. <laughs> so you teleport out of the way of the giant mech. Nice. Okay. Um, end of turn. Yep, that's me good. Right All right. Uh, the mech's pilot will just be like, they got away. M Mistress, what, what do we do? Um, and the mech, kind of believing that this combat is still going on as normal, is going to use their arcane missiles. Choose a point within 60 feet of the battle mech. Any creatures within five feet of that point. Time to take the day off. Yeah, so. just command. Command. Take the day off. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, it will use its arcane missiles to hit Nova and Lucius. I need you both to make dexterity saving throws, Ooh, please. I get a plus two to that from the Eclipse Moon. You also get plus three from me. You're in 30 feet by the looks. Mm -hmm. Plus three, yeah. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 18. 25, 25. is a success, 18 is a failure. Um, so you're gonna take half damage, Lucius, uh, but you also get resistance against force, against. right? Oh. Yeah, I, I think, think it's it on there because it's, yeah. it's all of the chromatic damage types. So, uh, so you're going to take half anyway. So you both take 13 points of force damage, um, and you are not knocked prone by these like barrage of missiles, kind of. And then the mech is just going to move up and threaten Quill. I'm threatened mm -hmm. with a big fist. The phase knight is going to use their. Oh yeah, this point. guy. <laughs> Still hanging out. <laughs> he was just trying to get the buttons working before. True, true. Basically, going to come engage Is he now? Drawing the sword, uh, trying to get in their way. Um, yeah. Uh, so that is bonus action, I move action. I wish spell a bit more. Oh. I can't resist the necrotic damage. Oh, because you can't prevent it in any way. That's true. That's very, very true. But it is. But it did save you on that. You would have taken another. You would have taken like another thirteen points of damage if you hadn't Cute. prevented that. So it did help a little bit. Uh, Ayla, a uh, bunch of attacks coming Ayla's way. First one's miss. Second one's miss. Christ. Third one's a hit. However, that's going to be twenty-four or something to hit. Yeah. Um, this is with two hands. So that is going to be. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's going to be ten points of slashing, half to five, and then eighteen force damage, which she can't resist. So that's going to go to 23, and I'll take care of the damage. But he's basically there to try and be in her way. 
Um, and he's like, <laughs> kind of stood in front of her and in between Ayla and Shansara and is now threatening her, basically. Um, Ayla. I mean, the threat of don't come any closer is kind mm -hmm. of over now, right? It is. But she still hasn't done whatever she was going to do I with her help. Action. No. Um, I, I mean, I think Ayla would want to get the mission complete <laughs> in this case. Might just rush Shansara. Mm hmm. And just, reach. just go big. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yeah. Can get to Shansara. Yeah. If everyone else agrees. So as she goes to move, first things first, phase line gets an attack of opportunity. So we rusted past her. This is just his attack. That's going to be, yeah, like nope. 37 to hit. Jeez. Okay. So she's going to take. Yeah, another five slashing and another 18 four, so it's basically the same thing. She can take 23. Uh, she takes 23. I'm already doing the damage, don't worry about that, Tom. Okay. And she, she rushes past. As well? uh, yeah, I healed her. Okay. Yeah, 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 I did. Um, as she rushes past, Shansara is going to activate her held spell, which is telekinesis, um, and she is going to try and telekinetically hold Ayla back. I need Ayla to make a, I believe this is a contested oh. strength. <laughs> Oh. Um, Don't roll a one. So um, yeah, so it's just d20 plus just the strength modifier, my dice the curse. not the strength saving throw, <laughs> just the strength modifier. Strength modifier, which I think is plus seven. Plus seven, yeah. Uh, this is against uh, Shansara's plus eight because she uses her spell casting modifier. Twenty-three. Sixteen. Okay, so as Ayla comes running forward, Shansara thrusts out her hand, lifts her up into the air, and basically slams her into the ground, halting her. He's like holding her movement, basically. She's got a grip. So she rushes to here and then gets <laughs> slammed into the ground. Um, do, do, do. You can move a creature. Make an check. If you win the contest, you move the creature up to 30 feet in any direction, um, including upward. So she's holding her currently 30 feet up in the air, basically, is what she's doing. Ow. Bash the microphone. <laughs> That's probably going to be loud. Sorry, sorry um, about that. Head bash. Uh, well, in that yeah, case, she's currently holding Ayla 30 feet off, off fine. the ground. Fine, Ayla's going to throw a hammer then. Twist it very uh, Yes, she is. She does have disadvantage on any attacks, so she's currently restrained. Oh, okay, so she got, can she still throw? She can still throw, but she has disadvantage on the attack. May as well. Um, I don't actually know how this works, throwing the hammer. But is it so? It basically works like she makes a regular attack, yes, and then she does extra damage uh, when she throws it. That's my good dice. Here it is. No, it's not. Uh, well, it's a 23 to hit. Uh, with disadvantage? It's a 23 to hit. Okay, in that um, case, it does normal damage and then it does 46 lightning damage. Cool. Uh, regular damage is, is. Does it add strength still? Yep. Uh, 18. Okay, 18 um, damage. And 4d6. And then 4d6. I'll keep a total of this for the concentration check. Um, 5, 8, 10. Extra 8. Extra damage from that. So 28. So half 28 would be 14 yeah. on the concentration. Yep, 19. So the telekinesis is still in place, but the attack does hit Shansara. Points of damage. And you can see that the hammer blow, it kind of strikes a staggering Shansara back. She lets out this kind of ah uh, as she gets knocked around. Um, and but she does manage to keep the concentration um, as Ayla is being held up. Uh, okay. Yeah. And no one's in with, within 10 feet because she's being held into the sky. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, nothing else she can do, but that's done. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Okay, yeah, absolutely. With telekinesis. Right. Before Shansara takes her turn at the end of the second round, uh, you see the second statue, Atlas, this time, the kind of lounging uh, uh, above the academy, the statue of Vortensar, also now activates. But now you begin to see instability. The statue cracks, <laughs> begin to form. The link of chained of energy kind of surrounding the city through their linked hands uh, as these barriers of energy kind of form around them begins to flicker and waver. That rumbling beneath your feet grows stronger and now the entire concert hall is beginning to shake a little bit and the panic, the crowd is beginning to panic. Uh, Shansara will, will call out and you even now hear Harmony's voice calling out from the stage like, 
Do not panic. This it is just the stability. Once the next statue is activated, it will restabilize. There is nothing to fear. Once the other statues stabilize, these effects you have nothing to fear. And is like calling out, calming the crowd um, as the beginning begins to crack and shift and, and maneuver around. Um, on Shansara's go, uh, she is going to just basically. Um, she doesn't want to break the telekinesis concentration, so she's going to keep that activated. Um, she is just going to move herself and her drones. She's just going to move all the way here. Further away. Further and further away as she can get, um, keeping her turn. Uh, and concentration. She's got a lot of concentration spells, goddammit. Um, yeah, I know, <laughs> boo-hoo. Boo uh, so in that case, she will, to kind of help keeping up with the calm of the audience, she will begin a, another performance. She begins singing another verse, The Lonely Kiss of Winter, um, and she will face towards all of you guys, looking towards the cameras, but kind of facing towards the sort of cone towards you guys, and she begins another performance. Um, and that's going to be her turn. No, Vija. I'm going to teleport towards her. Okay. Um, so this, the aura is 60 foot, mm -hmm. but it's you on me. Middle. Okay. So I will teleport 60 foot. <coughs> I don't know how far that takes me. 10, And then, because the aura is centered on me, I can go another 60 foot. Right. Um, it's 10 foot of movement every time, and I have 30 yep. foot movement, okay. so I still have one more teleport. Yep. Please, Shansara. Uh, I believe, actually, the, the, the thing isn't on you, the effect. I don't know. Does it, it, does it say it's, it's on it's you? Worded, so I think it's where so you create it. You create it the... It hovers above you and creates a 60 yeah, foot around you. Yeah, so that was when you, you created it, when you created it, which was here, so yeah. it would have been in the middle. So I'd still, still say you're fine, but for future reference, it's... When you first create right, it, you okay. create like a marker in that position, okay. and then that's where the aura is based. Yeah, I was but quite central. For this, you're fine. Yeah, you were super so, central when yeah. you created it, so it's fine okay. for this, but... Um, so, please, Shansara, look, the statues are faltering. Once that... It's, it's fine, it just needs stabilizing. As long as the other statues remain active, You can stop this, please! I can't. Now that it's activated, it's activated. I don't know what you're expecting. She, like, holds the mic out, like, take it. I can't stop it. It's You've been done. The sword. I've done nothing of the sort. It's you, you and your, you trying to enough. Influence. And then with that, I just attack. Sure. Like I think just that baiting of like it's you. I'm just like I'm done with you. Sure. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hexblade curse her. Okay. Um, so bonus action hexblade curse. Okie dokie. Which ups my damage. First attack. Mm, it's not great. It's um, nineteen. Uh, 19 just barely hits her. Okay. She tries to dodge to the side, kind of pulling herself away. Crowd kind of gasping and, and crying out as you strike their beloved idol. So my damage goes up to plus 14 with Okey -dokey. 6 from Hex and mm -hmm. 8 from Blades. Sure, sure, sure. So 14 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Mm. 26 points of damage. 26 points of damage, sure, sure, sure. First strike, like, cuts her deeply, and you can now see, you know, bleeding uh, her silvery golden Elandrin blood. Wow. 29 to hit. 29 hits. Uh, Concentration uh, still up for plus. first one. 3 plus 3. 21 to hit. Uh, 21 points of damage. 21 more points of damage. And that is still just barely succeeds on the concentration. Ugh, um, 18 to hit. Does not hit. She yeah. manages to dodge that third attack. But you can see now, like, heavily injured, like, bleeding her gold and silver blood. Um, and she's, like, probably crying. Like, she's, like, as you strike her, like, not used to, like, being so badly physical harm. She's like, stop, stop! Like, as she's, like, trying to, like, defend. She has no weapon. She's literally, like, using her arms to stop you, like, cutting into her body, like, you brute, you violent creature, you cretin, like, kind of calling you all these horrible things as you're striking her, like, you're trying to stop me. You're trying to stop Harmony from being who we are. You're trying to stop this city from going home. Like, <laughs> and I think in retort, Nova's just over and over again while she strikes are just like, you've killed us all. You've mm. killed us all. Lucius. In fact, actually, uh, yeah, no, Lucius, yeah. I think Lucius being a frail little boy um, is going to... Is Sentry there? Uh, yeah, Sentry's just in front of you, yeah. Sentry, can you help me? 
Let's collapse this gantry on the mech. And I'm going to use my action to help Sentry if she tries to like push push the gantry over sure. onto them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nice. All right. So you're basically giving the, gonna give the advantage to, to yeah. Sentry if she does that. All right. Okay, Quill. I wanna get out of the way of that. <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> um so I'm gonna fly out of the range of that, and I guess out of the way of this mech as well, so he'll get an attack of opportunity on me. Where do you want to go? Um, I mean, based on where this gantry is going to fall, I think I'll just stand on this podium where, um, or okay. just up as much as, yeah? Yeah, sure. Um, I will make an attack of opportunity from the mech. <sighs> Natural 20. Really? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, uh, Tom, this is going to be really bad. He does quite a bit of damage, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah, his punches do like 40, 12. Um, that's 48 base plus 48, four, sorry, 40, 12. 48 plus 40, 12. <laughs> that's going to be 105 points of damage. Oh 105? my god! On, <laughs> 40, 40, uh, 40, because it's 40, 12, so 48 base, yeah. plus I rolled 47 plus 10. 47, you rolled 12, 12, 12, 11. 8, 9, 9, 11, 10. Oh the Indy Beyond. Oh my god. <laughs> it's insane. So as you fly up, this mech just <laughs> <laughs> slams you down. <laughs> oh my Fucking god. Fucking hell, there's a tiny crater. <laughs> just swats you like a fly. I mean... Oh, God, that was bad! That was like the quite 40, bad! The I mean, you deal like... You, Ayla dealt like 90 points of damage with a crit, come on! No, I, I know, it's just like the just 48, the crit on eight, its own. Like, 9, like, 9, 11, 10, plus Jesus 10. Jesus Christ. No, it's only 95 points of damage. It already oh, added, just 95? It already added the 10. <laughs> just 95? Just 95 points Whoa. of damage. Just 95? <laughs> So are Bloody. you still up? Oh, 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 still yeah. up. <laughs> it already added the plus ten. It already added the plus ten. God. No. Oh, I just realised I was like, there's five numbers there, but it only gets four dice. Oh, I was wow. like, it's already added the plus ten. Oh my god. So still how, how many are you on though? Three. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh. So like you take this like punch and it like nearly like you feel like your little bird bones break. Bird bones. Bird bones. Pro broners. My bird bones are breaking. But you are. Bones. Just this tiny little claw. <laughs> oh, dude. But I am up and in the sky, far away. But I think he smashed my entire turn out of me. <laughs> I can't even remember what I was gonna do when I got up there. Um, Jesus. Uh, uh, Ayla's levitating. I'm flying barely. Yeah, I'm just gonna do another mass cure wounds. Uh, sure. This time at sixth level. And it's within 30? 60. Okay, so you can catch pretty much everyone. Uh, would I be in that? Yeah. Yeah. Because you teleported, so. Um, Oh my god. And I roll an amount that is yet to be determined because it's taking its sweet ass time. 26 healing to everybody. Nice. 26 healing, Thank I'll do you. it for Ava. Oh. <laughs> Lights up. Not 95 though, is it? No, I am in a bit of a deficit after that punch. End of turn quill. <laughs> End of turn quill. All right, two things are going to happen. Shansara's going to use her face step to teleport 30 feet away from Nova. Um, Kind of moving back towards uh, probably further away into the corner. Uh, yeah, basically like trying to run to the edge of the stage um, as best as she can. But the other thing that happens is you see in the distance the air statue. Mark, it's my birthday week! You see an explosion, but not an explosion of magic, uh, like a giant mech. Yes! Does Let me go! It detonates one of the statues. You see the statue break and crumble, and pieces of it break and fall, you know, down, like damaging the city, uh, having been destroyed. Nova being the closest to Shansara, you're, you see her go like, oh no. As now, without that continuation, without that statue in place, the magic 
grows even more unstable, and you see that actually without that next piece of the, the device in place... <laughs> caused it. ...the thing begins to crack and burst, oh, and you begin no. to feel that rumble. Now the entire stadium begins to shake and shift, and actually Quill, hovering underneath you, you watch a piece of the stadium almost crack. Um, as you can see, this building up of power, of this elemental energy kind of shining through the floor of this built stadium. <laughs> building up in bright beams. The crowd begins to scream in a panic, um, and even Chansara just seems to be lost for words, and you hear Harmony desperately kind of calling out like, please do not panic, please, the guards will help you get out of the building, like kind of calling to everyone as they begin to try and evacuate the stadium. Um, but there is now this sense of like, actually maybe this isn't going what, how we thought. And Chinsara is just looking up and she's just like, no, 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 no. Without the devices, it's it's gonna grow unstable. What have you done? She's now looks towards Nova. What have you and your friends done? Oh. Um, you've ruined it. You've destroyed this Deactivate place. Deactivate the machine. I can't. It's been activated. The ley line energy is already surging. It's been sent to the devices. Um, Are you the baddies? Uh, as they all turn around and look at everyone. Uh, at this point, she, the Shansara will turn to the mech and order it, be like, go, get out of here, get the rest of the forces now, get my commanders, we need to know what's happening at the fourth statue. Go and report, and she like, turns to the face like, you as well, go and report, find out what's happening. Don't care about these, I, it, whether they kill me or not, it doesn't matter, and is like ordering them. Um, so they're, at this point, unless you interfere with them, the mech and the phase knight will go to flee. They're, they're going to actually go. <laughs> yeah. like, so, Sentry, it would be your turn next. Like, but you see all of this happen, and then like you're like, what do you do? Oh! <laughs> she wants to drop a gantry. You could, yeah, absolutely. Could. Oh, I'd say that like you, 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 it's your turn is happening, and because Shansara is all the way in the corner, mm. only her and Nova mm. have heard that. You don't hear what Shansara is saying. Oh, drop a gantry, though. All right, then in that case, let's drop a gantry. So yeah. this is a strength with advantage, yeah. plus a d4. <sighs> this is very much like just pretending to push. <laughs> oh, but you gain advantage. Yeah, she already, she already had advantage. Because <laughs> she's big, but it's fine. You're helping. I'm helping. With advantage. Come on! Come on! 17 plus, 21 plus d4. 21, 22. 22, I'd say that is just barely enough. <laughs> 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 This gantry collapses. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Having moved behind it, the mech, I would say, takes roll 6d12 for 6D12. me. 6d12? Yeah. Wow. As this huge kind of metal and wood structure collapses on the mech. Mm. Environmental damage. Yeah. 17. Big fan of it. I love it. I love an environmental play. Yeah. It's like dropping Gotta make it worth two of the vistas on someone. <laughs> or like Two of Annihilation just like environmentally attacked my character. The other thing I'd say is you that. Did it attack you? Yeah. Did it attack you? Yeah. Did you just shove your head into a sphere no. of Annihilation? It came at me, bro. Yeah, I think <laughs> you came at it. 51 points of damage. Yeah. Not only does the damage itself take place, but also that mech is now trapped under it and will have to spend its turn like Rigging. pulling itself free, basically. Um, no. As it becomes trapped under this like pile of metal and poles and 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 uh, you know stone supports and wooden wooden pillars and, and platforms and things oh, that yeah. completely engulf it. If I leave um, now, I might be able to save my family and children. <laughs> 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 it's like an awesome um, power is where it looks yeah. at all the the minions' families. Uh, the oh, I laugh because I'm about oh. to cry. Uh, I think the the phase knight will basically on its turn. The mech's going to try and escape. It's going to teleport over to Shen. Sorry, hear that report, but it's going to basically move, teleport 60 feet and then move next to Shansara, basically trying to protect her for a second. The mech on its turn will try and free itself. Um, it does manage to kind of like pull this aside and then manages to stand up, but you can see it is badly damaged, like limping. One of its arms is like short circuiting as it begins to move away. Um, at this point, uh, it's you. Oh, I mean, actually, no. I'll leave it up to you guys. Yeah. It's Ayla's turn. Uh, Ayla is currently still being held aloft. Uh, concentration on telekinesis is still active. Um, did you slice at her a couple times? I did, yeah. But um, I think Mark did roll for oh, concentration. Right. I did. Didn't. Yes, I did. Is there anything she can do? Uh, can it's suspended her? in midair. Um, Throw thing. The thing is, is. Um, uh, Da, 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 da. Until the end of your next turn, a creature is restrained in your telekinesis grip. There is no, like, you can break free of it to what she I can understand. She hasn't had a turn since then. No. Uh, 
until the concentration is broken, she is basically held up there. I mean, I think she's even out of range for another throw. Yeah. So 60 feet. Uh, so Ayla's just going to oscillate. She's like raging, like just mad, <laughs> furiously Getting mad. Getting angry and angry. <laughs> Being held, uh, held above. Uh, I don't think there's anything she re reasonably can do. Mm -hmm. um, levitate in there. So yeah. Yeah. Cool. Just levitate. All right. Shansara, on her turn, uh, basically is like pulls up the headset and is like speaking into it, or make, you know, giving orders, and seems to be receiving some sort of report. Um, can, mm. I think that yeah. That is what she's going to do. She's going to basically, uh, she focuses, basically dismissing you guys. Like she like turns and is like, no, what do you, what do you mean? It's being attacked by who? You, you need to get that. You need to get the statue under control. What is happening there? And like you can hear this Nova. She's like conversing with somebody. Um, can I look to the skyline? Yes. And make an Arcana check. Yes. Now that things are happening. Yes. What do you want to know? Would the ley lines not completing destroy the city? You can certainly make an arcana check. Uh, 13 plus 9, 22. 22. <sighs> Looking at what's happened, you see two outcomes. <laughs> if things continue as they are, things, something bad will happen. Whether it will be what Quill saw, you're not sure, but there is a problem. The elemental energy stored within Vortensar, that Harmony was once, you know, controlled and powers the wonderful elemental devices and, and the statues themselves and allows the environmental energies to exist, allows the, you know, the lava flows and the airstreams and the water currents to all function the way that the city relies on. That has been built up and has been diverted to these devices whether the devices are no longer stable or whether the, the the circuit has been broken and now those elemental energies are out of control. If the energies are not either dispelled or the circuit is not completed, the city will ultimately will be destroyed. This, uh, you know, there will be a destruction that will invade the city. You see that there are potentially two solutions. Either the circuit needs to be stabilized, which would complete the system and transport Vortensar to Ganes, but that might, if you failed to do that correctly, the city would basically be vaporized in its transportation and anybody caught inside it would probably be wiped out. Yep. The other option is to try and disperse the elemental energy and power the entire system down. That would prevent the teleportation, but the failure could mean the residual elemental and planar energy could then affect a Rois. It could create some sort of effect that could have a wider oh effect on God. other other places nearby. Okay. The destruction to oh. the city would be severe, but there is a chance there could be survivors. Oh, uh, bad! It's barely so the way. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> so you see, like, at this point, like, and Shansara is just like talking into him, like Mike. Uh, you guys can still act okay. in initiative, but if you, I, I'm going to assume we're out of initiative until you want to take aggressive actions, I want to go up we'll to Shansara, like, um, hands yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. Can you teleport me to the statue? What, what are you talking about? The, the remaining one? Where the break is, like, I guess, yeah, where the break is. The one, the, the, the what's the air statue's name? I'm sorry. Um, so air is um, Kari. Kari. Uh, um, and she'll look at you and say, like, the destroyed one is Kari, but there's also, your friends are attacking the last one. If we don't do something there, they're tr still trying to disable it. If we disable that statue now, it would be an even greater risk. Do you have a way of telling your friends we'll to back it, off? We'll stop it, but can you teleport me there? Yes, I can. Yes, I can teleport you there. Quill. What's the plan, Nova? Tell the Seekers to stop. Uh, on it. <laughs> what are you doing? What's your plan? What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm going to complete the circuit. You see uh, that also Harmony is being brought down by several flying Air Ganassi guards who are actually carrying her and flying hard, sort of flying them down to uh, towards you. Harmony's like, Shansara, what is happening? What have you done, Nova Vija? And is like calling out to the, the rest of the crew. Uh, yeah. So my plan, Mark, is to teleport. Well, I assume that you're telling your friends this as well, like, you know. And I'm going to Harmony. complete the circuit and try and discharge the energy. How? How do you, how you, how would you intend on doing that? That we're talking vast amounts of energy here, even with the Magitech. And Harmony is like, Nova Vija, I do not think you understand how much vast amounts of elemental energy I understand. is in the city. I'm responsible for this. Okay. 
I mean, I'm going to sending to okay. whoever is in charge of the attack on It'll the statue. It'll probably be Tornado and or North Fear. North Fear, yeah. 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 And, yeah. Can I come with you? Can I try and help in any way? We can all come. I can teleport all of you, if you wish, and Harmony and myself. Okay. You will need my expertise. It is our devices that have interacted this th system, even if it is just the energy itself. I don't think that we need to control this in some way. Otherwise, the city is doomed, regardless. Whether it teleports or not, all of our actions have contributed to this. We must all fix it. Agreed. Very good. You are all coming? Yes. Have you sent the message, yeah, basically, just, like, stand down? Stand or like, down, stop, stop down. attacking the yeah. tower. You get a message back from there, from North. Who'd you send it to, Norfolk or Tornado? Uh, Norfolk. Okay, Norfolk will, uh, will respond and say, it's a good thing, good thing you messaged. Something weird is happening. Trying to disable or activate no longer seems functional basically like you get the impression that though the forces there have the the statue is activating or doing something on its own without their input but they stand down basically okay. um and they're now going to basically leave it up to whatever you guys are going to do yeah um, i'll tell everyone that the attack has stopped on that tower on okay. the statue. all right um, shansara will kind of gather everybody up and using her one cast of it she will teleport all of you guys to uh where the device is being held in the kairi statue um she lets out this long kind of chained aria and <laughs> you guys feel yourself all pulled away um unlike uh the teleportation spells from like the wayfinders going things like this this almost feels like you are picked up and carried on like a wind like like in a rush, like you feel yourself like speed through the, s the city streets and down through the floor and <laughs> and you eventually pull yourselves out into a very large underground, almost not quite religious, but ceremonial chamber. Um, and you can see a miniature version of the Kari statue kind of uh, hands outstretched, kind of almost like leaning over something. Um, and you can see that this room is completely cracked. And as you arrive, uh, Sentry, you and Ayla and a few of the others like have to grab various people. Shansara like grabs Harmony and, and as you realize there is this almost like chasm-like pit that has opened up and there is just elemental energy, fire and air and water and earth like almost being spewed out chaotically, you know, randomly uh, in this in this churn of of of, of chaos um, as it just throws it up and you can see the walls are all cracked and the statue itself is nearly bursting with this energy that's within it um, and this appears to be sort of like where the device is connected um, you see a uh, you know the the ceiling above you has all been broken and you can actually see pieces of a red painted uh, Valkyrian mech have been sort of scattered everywhere and you do see like a glimpse of uh, an unconscious body sort of hanging out of the mech as well. Um, so what... Do I need another Arcana check? Like, how can we... Yeah, that's a great question. Um, what do you think you can do? Like, at, the, at this point, you know that you've got two options. You either need to disperse this energy or you need to try and complete the circuit. I want to um, disperse it. Okay. Well, how how would um, you like to try and do that? Honestly, Nova in her head mm -hmm. just wants to throw herself into the middle of the conduit and try and just, just like balance. What? Okay. All right. What about everyone else? I, I mean, <laughs> and she's not telling this to no one. Okay. All right. Is this like, so you guys land and immediately that's the first thing Nova's doing. Like, you're just going to jump into this chasm and just throw yourself down there, basically. Mm. All right. I mean, I, seeing this, it's it's just a burst of magical energy, right? Like, it's, yeah, it's going everywhere. It's wild, uncontrolled, no longer contained by the Magitech devices. Uh, it seems that the energy came in here, and where it couldn't find anything to bind it, it has erupted out. Like, without being constrained by the Magitech devices, it's it's run rampant and run run loose. Because I'm tempted to anti magic again. And you could certainly try. And try to, I guess, make Contain these it. devices mundane, stop them from emitting magical the energy. The thing is, though, is that that break could make it worse. I don't know. Well, you yeah. Nova's at this point. Nova's yeah, just I'm, heads I'm, down. Yeah, I'm not. So, what, so, yeah, and like the rest of you guys, if you've got ideas, I, Ayla is just like, I, I can hold people, but I don't know what I can do here. Like, she's probably like literally like holding Lucius from like falling into this pit. Like, she's like pulling you up as you land kind of thing. Um, Shantara uh, and Harmony are in, in conversation as well, and it looks like they're, they've got a plan of what they're going to do as well. But they don't say that. <laughs> I've got a binding sphere. Sure. 
but it would only bind an elemental, not like just energy. I mean, you could try it. They, they can't, you don't know. I toss that at it. So you're just going to throw the binding sphere into the into, into the, the chasm. Element. Okay. All right. Quill and Sentry, any ideas? I mean, I'm, are you going to activate anti magic? Like, kind of find like a location where the magic is pouring out and I'm try sort anti-magic. of yeah, I'm sort of almost speaking out my plan so that if anyone hears it and has a suggestion, I'm just you know saying like if I if I go to this device and these devices and try and turn stop their magical energy, then maybe that will stop it. I don't know. What is anyone else? What is what is everyone else doing? I could draw some into my gauntlet, but that's such a minute amount. Hmm. Uh-huh. Um, I can I can protect people from energy, so if there's any, I don't know if, if if there's any chance that someone might get hurt, I can protect them from a certain type of energy. Um, I could use my lance. I could maybe use the spare lance that I have and maybe use that to channel some lightning or some energy into it, and perhaps use that as a kind of conduit. Um, I mean, I, what did you do? Yeah, I. I just, I just don't know so it sounds what like, yeah. my thing is going to do, but you don't. That's it seems. If you'd like to make a check, you can be like, "Can I make an Arcana check to like if this is a good idea?" You can totally do that. Can I do that with the gauntlet? Absolutely, you can. Yep. You can both make any che- <coughs> any checks you like. Uh, Arcana, I got. We're assuming that this is like you're having these thoughts, like panically trying to figure out what everyone's doing as other things are happening. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. I got Twenty-four. Okay. You both think that whilst you don't think it will have. You won't solve the problem that way. The two of you think that combining the anti-magic, if you stand in an area where this chaotic swirl of energy is is bad, you might be able to slow down the process. You might be able to buy everybody more time to deal with it by doing that. Same with the gauntlet. But you run the risk, Trot, with the gauntlet, with Lucius with the gauntlet, drawing too much power into it can cause feedback to you, um, which could cause you damage. Yeah. Uh, Quill, you would basically be hoping that your anti-magic is enough to hold back the energy from harming you as well. And you're not sure yeah. how long that would last. It might overwhelm the spell the longer you stay there. Um, as Quill's saying it, I'll say, oh, we can at least buy someone some time, and I'm just going to start doing it. Okay. All right, so you start channeling the energy, and you feel that it beginning to, like, pull in, and it begins to grow hot and cold, and, and like, you know, you can almost feel your skin almost petrifying, and, and like, you, there's this bizarre feeling, but you're channeling the energy in as you go. Um, Quill? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll ninth Move level uh, anti-magic. All right, at ninth prevent. level as well. It does prevent magical travel. <laughs> okay. I mean... I don't know what that means. Just like, this one little 10-foot bubble around me that's not going anywhere. Yeah, I mean, maybe <laughs> the spell can hold out for sure. Um, um, all right, so you guys are kind of using I'm these mitigating. methods to try and slow this down, like by time, sentry. What about you? Um, I was thinking of doing protection from energy. Um, I can protect one willing creature from either acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder damage. I, I'm going to say now that that is the, the, the nature of this chaotic energy. It's not just going to be one energy type, and that level of magic is probably not going to be strong enough to right. help in this scenario. Um, if you'd like to make a check, you can always like be like, I'd like to make a check to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, um, just do or like, like get a hint. arcana check just to see if there's anything I can do. Sure, yeah. This would just be, yeah, if you just want to make a straight up intelligence to see if there's anything you can think of. It's not great. Nine plus, well, eight, minus one. Looking around, you can't think of like a specific spell that you know or or, like power that you have. The only thing that really comes to mind is like if this is the feeling here, this kind of very primal nature of this elemental magic. Not, it's not the same as the Matrix, but it is almost similar to it. The Matrix is this ancient power, this very powerful magical relic that you carry and the feeling of the the, sip, the the river of spirits within it has this similar powerful magical sensation I mean, there might be something you could do to try and use the matrix somehow in the way that you connected with like the forges and you know, you've done, you've tried to use the matrix in the past to like tap into like you know, um other other events and like other guardians and things like that, you could maybe try something like that, but not mm. you don't I'm not I can't give you a direct idea yeah. on a, on that kind of role. Um or you could right now like, you know, Ayla is also kind of like just, you know, taking up a defensive stance, trying to like grab like make sure that if they need to she can grab Lucius if anything happens to them and stuff like that. You could mm. try and do something more like that, protective and 
um, thing. But yeah, unfortunately, I mean, protection from energy, sure, you could put it on. It, it will help maybe a little bit, but it's probably not going to have a huge effect on the greater problem. You might be able to protect one of your friends a bit. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you, I'll get to you, don't worry. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to I'm you. I'm just thinking of, yeah, I've, I got, <clears throat> got, I've got an order to things. Sure, yeah, that's fine. And, and you're... And okay, well, whilst Rhiannon's thinking, then so for Nova, Nova's plan is basically like as everyone's rushing off to do these other things, Nova is just walking towards this main sort of crack where this energy is spilling out from, right? And is it like you're going to hurl yourself down there and just try and? So, uh, uh, while everyone's rushing around, mm -hmm. I'm just going to slowly look at everyone. I'm going to turn to Harmony mm -hmm. and say, "I'm sorry, I got it wrong." And then I want to manifest Tiangong on the lip of the crack mm -hmm. and cast fly mm -hmm. and then fly down okay. into where the magic is the most intense. And you know, because I'm going to tell you this and then you can decide where, I mean, I think that Kim knows this. I mean, Nova, looking at this, that is an extreme amount of energy. Yep. And it is very unlikely Nova will survive. Yep. And it is very likely that there will not be a body for you to be resurrected with. When, if you do this, this will annihilate your physical being. Does Nova understand that as she's looking down in? And as that settles in, mm -hmm. Nova's going to hand the swords, the essence of Tiangong, well, to Tiangong. Well, here's the thing. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Saving throw? Yes, please. 15. You see the spectre of Tiangong, and you hold the blades for the first time since you first acquired that first shard. There is a resistance. We know what you are attempting, Nova Vija. You would sacrifice your physical form to protect your town, your city. You have to let me do this, Tiangong. You are mortal. You have much life left to live. We are eternal. We are an eternal. We are one. You are more important than this. Not this time. And your body doesn't respond as the Tiangong shard, taking your knowledge and that connection of the power will take your place. Don't you dare. You failed the saving throw. As you feel yourself now being controlled, no, not the one controlling the echo, but the one being controlled as Tiangong keeps you in place and prevents you from throwing yourself down into the chasm. You can't do this. I must. I must protect. We you are, are more important than me. Who gets to decide that? You have a race to lead. There are other leaders. There is only one Nova Vija. I can't let you do this. Who's to the edge? Please. begins to lower themselves down. Stop. A voice just calls out. Something, that voice, familiar voice, that kind of sweet saccharine Eladrin voice calls out and Tiangong's image disappears. What did you do? Temporary. Harmony and I, well, she looks at Harmony, Shansara kind of pulls her to the edge. Well, we did want to do something that mattered, didn't we? I don't know whose fault this was, whether this was ours or yours. Harmony will step forward and be like, this energy is linked to me. I can control it. We'll handle this. This is what we were meant for. And the two of them will begin to descend down instead. Tiangong does reappear six seconds later because it is only a temporary dispel magic. Uh, and you are now free of those, you feel that, that connection break as the two of them begin to fly down and descend down. But you can see that they are struggling. Mm. You can see that they are trying to contain this energy, um, trying to contain it, disperse it, but you're not sure if it's going to succeed or not. If I join them now, mm -hmm. 
Well, is there a chance? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I'll still do it. Okay. This time, like, Tiangong, like, re-emerges just as you are being and is like, Nova Vija, do not do this. Uh, and will begin to come down with you and, like, I will not abandon you. I guess if we go, we go together. That is how it should be. Thank you. All four of you make your way down. Nova, the way that this is going to work mm -hmm. is I need you to make a d20 plus charisma, just d20 plus charisma. Harmony and Shansara will do the same thing. And I need at least two of the three to succeed. Otherwise, you... Otherwise, yeah, some stuff will happen. Thirteen. Thirteen. The rest of you kind of watch as this all happens. Like, you kind of, like, you know, see the, the Harmony and Shansara descend into, and then eventually Nova and Tiangong also make their way down. And you are beginning, <laughs> at this point, Lucius, the gauntlet has filled up. If you continue, you will begin to take damage, as if it was overloading the gauntlet. If that's what they're doing, mm -hmm. I'm going to try and take a burden as okay. much as I can. So I How will much? continue. I, I'll take it as much as you can. As much as the gauntlet will have. Okay. My body can have. All right. Okay. And then Quill, like, you can feel your anti-magic is holding back a little bit of this, but it's not enough to overwhelm the sheer amount of sheer power coming out of this. How does Quill react seeing this happen? I mean, if it is it's stopping... I mean, I'm, I'm ready to get get everyone together and plane shift out of here, to be honest. So is that what you're going to focus on, like the, the withdrawal if you need to? Yeah. Um, do you need to be... Have, do they need to be in range? Do you need to be able to touch them? It needs to be touch range, yeah. Um, so you can grab everybody but Nova uh, at the moment. But that's what I'm planning to do. If, if it starts to crumble around us... You're going to teleport everyone out. Get everyone out and back to right. Horizon or something. Okay. <laughs> Sentry. Um, I think Sentry's going to stay close to Quill and Lucius, um, just ready to provide any healing that she needs to. But she's seeing Nova descending and she's like, just like, Nova! Nova! Just like screaming out for Nova. Yeah. You watch as that light from inside the chasm glows so bright it is blinding. Lucius, you are rendered unconscious. You take as much as you can to the point where it, you just feel your body sort of overwhelm. Um, as you fall unconscious, like Sentry, like grabs you, you know, ready to heal you if you need to. Core, you get to the point where all the rest of you upstairs, you begin taking points of debt. You begin taking like 10, 20, 30 points of elemental damage fire, cold, bludgeoning, uh, you know, or lightning, all of it just kind of overwhelming you. And there's a point, but you don't see Nova reappear. What do you? Is there a point where you're like, let's go? Like, do you wait for Nova? Um, because at that point you would all be like first round, it's like 10. I mean, like, Lucius goes unconscious, you take 20 points. Lucius takes a death saving throw. Oh, like, he like healing Lucius. Like, you just, so like, you just keep lay, bringing it's him like, back. Lay on hands, lay on hands. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. yeah, so like Lucius, you come to and then you're overwhelmed again. Like, yeah, you know, um, but the next six seconds, it's you take 30 points of damage. Everybody does. Like, I mean, crap. Like, ugh. Oh. I mean, if it's getting to a point where it is just unbearable and impossible and it looks like there is just zero chance of anything changing, mm -hmm. and that the longer we stay here, we're all dead, then, I mean, I guess <laughs> I guess I have to, right? Like... You don't have to do anything. I don't, I don't know. And is this Wayfinder's Guide, are you going to teleport them back to, like, Storm Chaser or something like that? Yeah, like, just out of the city so that we're sure. safe, but... I know that Nova's in there and not within range. Sure. Um, Which I have a wish spell now. Fucker. <laughs> Passing me notes like that, you can't do that. Um, if it's if it's gone on for long enough and we're at the absolute edge of it and like... Like, at, the, at this point, I think it's only Sentry and Ayla, and Ayla is, like, raging, like, trying to resist it, like, probably has, like, a hand in the chasm. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah. 
What are you going to do? I'm going to teleport Ayla's everyone. Like, Nova, grab my hand now! Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to teleport everyone I can to the Storm Chaser. <laughs> Everybody but Nova. There's a, Arrives. like, a start of a no from Lucius that's cut off by the teleport. You feel that familiar pull as the Wayfinder's Guide teleports you all the way. Nova Vija, the three of you, harmony yourself, or the four of you with Tian Gong, but Tian Gong sort of now back under your control, kind of with you, but not able to take their own actions. The three of you, like, desperately, each back to back, like, focusing your wills, trying to use this connection to this elemental power to try and disperse it, to to send it away, to make sure that it doesn't overwhelm the city above, you begin to realize that this is a losing battle. Your hope begins to diminish as it begins to threaten to overwhelm you. You hear your friends screaming your name, calling for you. Shansara singing to herself more than anything, this song of her homeland, harmony just... I just wanted to be, I wanted to make my own decisions. I wanted to help my people. I wanted to do what I thought was right. Why? Why are you doing this to me? And she's like kind of calling out this, these laments. And then there's this surge of power, this desperation that you know that if you don't do this, it's not just you, but it's going to be the city itself. And you feel as the last echoes, as your skin blackens and burns and freezes and you feel the pain arch through your body, all three of you, you black out. The rest of you on outside the city, you teleported away, say a few miles away or like on the deck of the storm chaser, which is hovering nearby. You watch as you see the statues, the links of energy kind of like now almost like out of control, like, you know, waving around, moving about on their own, kind of carving great, you know, blasts through the city as the weight rings of energy go wild, kind of destroying buildings. And then with one great final, they vanish. And the city remains damaged, but nowhere near destroyed to the level that you were expecting as the energy is dispersed. But you don't see Nova. You don't find Nova's body, she doesn't appear. You just see the city return to normal. This is different. This is different to what I saw. I think she's dispelled it. We might be able to go back in. Um, Araya, get us flying towards I'm, the city. <sighs> yep, yeah. uh, Storm Chaser is like, I, yes, of course. Begins <laughs> flying down. Uh, you can see like people on the streets like pulling themselves, you know, and there's damage to the buildings where the magic has caused issues. You can see great cracks in the ground where the elemental energy was spewing out, but it is mostly intact, um, having averted most of the disaster. It's something that Vort and Sar can easily recover from with time. Um, but the storm chaser eventually sails down. You hear people like Ganassi like, help us, help us, kind of calling out for aid, people who are trapped under buildings and things. Shit. Locate creature if I use my fourth level spell slot. <sighs> I mean, I, I do have locate creature. <sighs> the range on it is not great, and I don't imagine we're within like range of that just yet. But it takes you like 10, 20 minutes to get the storm chaser down. Like, where are you heading? Like, are you heading back towards the the statue Kari, the air statue, and like trying to get down into the chamber you saw? The last place, yeah. Like. Sure. I think that's where we'd be heading. Um, when you arrive to where the Kyrie statue is, you notice that the base of the statue, the statue itself has collapsed and toppled and is now on its side, having destroyed several buildings, but the base of the statue is corrupted and there is now like a giant sort of crater where this chamber you imagine once was, with these great cracks underneath it. Um, do something, <gasps> Quill. Find her. Where is she? I'm, tr I'm trying. I'm we trying. can't save the world without her, Quill. We need her. I, uh, I can't protect her if I don't know where she is. Um, I don't know what to do. Uh, um. Uh, locate creature. Nova! I'm just like screaming from the ship. You're where scream. are you? I'm screaming and it just kind of echoes across this now silent. You know, most of the civilians having cleared out of this area is now empty. 
Um, Croy, you cast Locate Creature. Spin through the Wayfinder's Guide, trying to find, yeah, casting that spell. There is no reaction. Um, okay. Uh, Do you feel anything? Is, is, is there any, anything at all? Not, not yet. Hang on. I can, I can find her. And, uh, Eye of the Storm. What do you ask? Where is Nova Vija? You watch as your eye turns milky and cloudy. Your vision pulls away from Aroes, drifts up. Where would Nova's soul go when she died? To the Astral Sea. Yeah. You see a familiar path of light that you have traveled leading up into the stars, guided, not by Kalara, but by a weaker presence, a motherly presence, to a place that you know, Quilek, Quilek and Kalar, that is no longer part of the living world. And that is where peaceful Nova's soul rests. I mean, I guess in response to seeing uh, a Nova, I see her, I found her, she's, and then like I see the rest of the vision, I recognize exactly where it is. She's, oh, uh. Where is she? We'll set the course, all right. We'll go wherever ready, we need to go. Ready to go. We, she's, it's, um. Quick. It's, there's no point, Lucius. What do you mean, there's no point? There's always a point. I saw her soul. Um, I saw it being taken. Uh, where, where, where did she get taken? No, no, Sentry, we've been there before. Um, there's no recovering Nova. She's, no, she's not. No. It's probably as you've been doing this, Ayla probably jumped down and has been pulling stones out of this debris, trying to like find the physical, you know, trying to yeah. get to where you were. Ayla finds the twin blades, rusted, blackened, destroyed, just resting. The remnants of Kalara's gift, where the chasm was, now sealed, but the only thing remaining and that is why we're going to win the episode. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the charisma checks at the end there, the 13. I rolled a two and a three. And you know what sucked? It was a 20 and it rolled over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, remember, oh I will say this. You guys are 18th level. Yep. You are beyond the point where you need a body to return someone to life. Quill has access to spells that can restore somebody to life that has, as long as they have not died before, Nova's soul can be called back. You may need to find a way to help call that soul back, but it is not the last. Okay. She's just swimming with the stars. Little Star break, child. little rest. Yeah, yeah. But Vortensar, the city, was saved. And that's what she wanted. Yeah. Shit. You can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't just fucking land this bombshell at the end of the year. As well, our last I think three. we're fine. Man. We just did. I, listen, we it's, just fucking did. It's oh, like shit. one of those things, like. It just went yeah. that way. I will say, as a player, the moment I decided was the moment you described Fuego destroying the statue and realizing it was our fault. Or it is was well. Well, Nova thing. would have interpreted yeah. it in the moment. And maybe it that was. It was because we laid the seeds for that mm -hmm. with Quill's vision. We laid she started doubting before we went into Sishin Sara, she started doubting. And I think in the moment Fuck. when she saw that ley line fall, that's when she she knew. Because you sent them in to disable those anywhere yeah. they could destroy them. Because Nova them. was so hell bent on like well, this stopping is, this and that way. It's the yeah. it's the endless question, right? Of like when Quill sees a potential future, yeah. do your actions 
cause that future to happen mm. or would this have happened regardless? Yeah. You don't yeah. know and you never will know. And I and think that's unfortunately part of it. In the minutes that we had to decide, yeah. she just knew. Yeah. yeah. Like, and Hey, Ree, can you just read this uh, message I got off Kim? Oh. Just, before <laughs> I, uh, just before I use the book? I just want a delicious Tom to let her go. <laughs> I know. Here's, here's the other thing. Sometimes when you're DMing, not that I want to run late, but sometimes when you're DMing, you, there's things that happen and like things happen because of the dice. And yeah, absolutely, this was a thing that I, you know, if things go badly, things can happen. Blah blah blah. And I knew I want. There was certain decisions I made where I was like, in the moment, I was like, oh, but would this happen? Would this happen? And then some. You've got to remember sometimes, like, I don't want to take away player agency. And so there was a moment where I went to nearly do something. I was like, actually, I should have done that. I should have let Kim's what she wanted to do happen, which is why when you came back and wanted to go down, I was like, actually, no, I should have let that happen in the first place. I think Tiangong would have tried to stop you. No, it made but, sense. Like, it made perfect it, sense. I didn't want to take that decision away from you. It as made a, perfect player sense. But, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Also, cool moment. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah very cool. cool. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, oh, you know, so uh, let's process. never say never. Obviously, it is always going to be down to Kim whether, like, Nova decides to come back, but, like, I don't want people to period? think that, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Scorb. as always, <laughs> it's d d There are ways yeah. around it. Death is not always the end. Just, but, yeah, just to leave it on a happier note, I know yeah. there's a lot of tears and stuff like yeah, that, exactly but that. like Mark says, all is not lost. This, this was one lost. outcome. This and was an outcome. the city is saved. All those lives are saved. Nova got what she wanted, and yeah. this is D&D. It's a magical world. Yeah. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Counterpoint to your happy ending note, Thalia. There you go. Single now. <laughs> <laughs> Single, you. Now. You Single, Single now. Think about that. You interested, Quill? <laughs> you want to try that? <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, yeah, this is probably going to be the last high rollers of the year. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry about have it's my birthday, I'm gonna make everybody cry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's where we're gonna leave it. And I think like that is where this episode of High Rollers comes to an end. Thank you hey. so much for joining us. Thanks for a great year of High Rollers. Hell yeah. Amazing <laughs> year. Rollers. And we'll see you uh, in 2023 for the next oh, one. Yeah. Take care. We love you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs>